All right, and welcome everybody. Looks like we're all recording. We seem to be all just fine. So we're gonna be going ahead and continuing Infinite Fusion today. I got the team. I just kind of did some wild battles right quick while waiting for the stream to start. Mr. Meleon got one level, and I replaced Cut with Psybeam. That's pretty much the only thing that occurred from just beating up wild mons. So let's do this, because when I beat the gym, I can get myself another Wonder Trade ticket. Oh yeah, phone's on silent, don't worry. Yo champ in the making, Lieutenant Surge is a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. He's very cautious, you have to break a code to get to him. I sure hope the puzzle ain't glitched here. First, let's take these guys out. Alright, here we go. Every time I turn this game on, I always gotta remember that the volume's mixing's all over the place. Pika Eel. <laughs> Look at it. Now, is it part ice? Or, let's see, is it ice? Electric or water electric? Okay, it's water electric. Wow, surprised me. Let me see here. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. Let's do it. Hi, Mina, welcome. <laughs> Magna Chop. Oh, that one's actually pretty metal. I like that. Steel fighting. Probably better as electric fighting. Nice. Kurtar has the experience share. Stairs won't come down. Lieutenant Surge was always cautious. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electric Pokemon. Is this a rocker? No, it's an engineer, but it has the veteran. Oh, Voltish. <laughs> that one looks so silly. I like it. Hit it with Ember. Okay, it's not part grass, so it's part poison. Yeah, it is. Volt Sprout. <laughs> the Voltorb. Oh, those are exposed wires. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that one. It's creative. Uh, also part poison. There we go. The Voltorb ones have been pretty impressive so far. Remember the one that was Voltorb and Ponyta? Voltorb's so simple, but you can just do it like that. Hey, they, they removed the top left one. They knew. They knew. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. All right. For those that don't know, there's a very famous, like, glitch with this puzzle in original Gen 1, where no matter what you... Whenever you get the first switch, there's always a random, like, a 50% chance that it will glitch and become the top left one. So I think they just removed the top left one as a screw you to that glitch. One of my favorite things to bring up whenever I stream this. Or rather, Gen 1, I should say. So if you ever felt like you had better odds with this puzzle uh, in Fire Red Leaf Green, that's why. Because it was literally bugged in Gen 1. I'm not even sure if Yellow Version fixed it. It's one of those things where, like, they might not even notice. Okay, first lock was deactivated. All right. Try to reset it. Excellent. Damn it. Yeah, the second switch is supposed to be adjacent to the first switch. So you basically just gotta check them all. Okay. But the second one can appear on one you've already checked previously in that round, which is annoying. Nope. 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 Did I not just check them all? <sighs> well. Back to just random chance in it. Nope. 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 Hey, there's a switch. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Hey, there's a switch. Nope. Alright. Let's try again. I love this puzzle. Nothing here, nothing there. This is so much fun. I love the good luck I'm having. Hang on, haven't I checked them all? Did I miss one? I'm just gonna leave the room and reset it. How about that? I must have missed one of them. Okay. There we go. They're actually less in the way. 
I was moving during the cutscene, you see that? I missed the sailors one, okay. Well, it hardly matters now. All right, team should be good to go. I'll let Mr. Meleon take the lead. Pika King can also be fine here, actually, because it can resist electric, because well, it's park round type. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies to paralysis, the same as I'll do to you. I'm using three Pokemon for this battle, so choose the ones you're going to use. I immediately forgot this again, but I'll do this so I get the experience here, because I should be more than good enough for them. Okay. Voltby. Okay. So electric water. Either way, more damage off this. He's using a super potion. Hang on, doesn't chip away work better here now? Am I thinking of something else? Okay, you are upsetting me. There we go, got him. Ecolette. Okay. Static, doesn't affect you. No problem. Rybuzz, okay. So don't Mr. Meleon. Oh god, that's a gremlin, all right. <laughs> you Psy Beam. Light screen wore off. Oh right, there was still a turn of that left. Critical hit. Citrus Berry. All right. Now it's time for Pika King. Or maybe Kurtar could just do it. They're almost dead. There's always the confusion chance. Hang on, does disarming voice... Let me double check that, that effect. User does emotional damage. Okay, it's not the one that lowers a stat when it hits. Going double team. Do it again, I dare you. There we go. Earned every little bit of that. Whoa, you're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. Rack cranks up your Pokemon speed. It's American made. Take this 73 Thunder Wave. Okay, good enough. You're special, keep this. Two premium Wonder Trade tickets. Oh, I didn't think I'd get more than one. Ah, there you are, are you a new trainer? I work for the Pokemon Museum in Pewter City. I just wanted to let you know that our state-of-the-art fossil reviving machine is now operational again. Come visit us if you have any fossils to revive, it's all free of charge too. Here, take this, it'll help you get around. Teleport. Hope you'll pay us a visit. Wait, so now I can use teleport as fly? I think that's what that means. Hang on, make a save right quick. Save to file A. Pick file B. Nope. Save to another slot. Yes, there we go. Organized Fuse. I have a regular Slack Off. I could just Wonder Trade that. Let's do that. Oh. I don't need to fuse anything else with Slack, uh, like, to get Slacking. I already have the best possible one with me. Do a Wonder Trade. Yes. Okay, send it out to Slack Off. Or bourbon. Oh. Snubble swine of. Uh, that could be cool. These aren't particularly Pokemon I have access to. Careful nature. Lower special attack. Um. Face is snubble, so it gets. Let me see here. Both of them are attack-oriented, so it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a t so the nature is fine, I guess. 
Oblivious, Mudsport, Powder Snow. Now, I can't defuse these, but can I invert the fusion? Kind of curious to see which one would look better. I could try using this. Okay, I can, okay. First, let's use the other ticket on something else, though. Regular Iggly Buff. That hatched from the egg. I'm not going to use the Iggly Buff, that's for sure. Let's trade it away. Oh yeah, I inverted the Slack Off Meryl. That's tr that's right, I totally forgot. Wonder Trade. Make a quick save. Trade Iggly Buff away. Bart. What the? Unknown Bonsly? There we go. Looks weird. Yes, it does. Rock Psychic. I mean, it's part unknown. Unknown doesn't have anything to benefit it. <laughs> um, it looks oddly fitting. Yeah, doesn't it? I don't think I can really do much with this, but I'll use the other one. Okay. Yeah, I'm content with these. I'll use them. That unknown fusion is oddly fitting in a weird way, isn't it? Okay, make the saves again. Save to file B. Save to another slot. Go to A. Save in A. Now, I should have plenty of DNA splicers, or DNA reverser. I want to see if this one's any better. Oh dear. <laughs> They're both decently good looking sprites, aren't they? A swibble. Wants to learn lick. You don't really need that, but you also don't need mud sport. Let's take a quick look at it. This one has more attack power, so it's probably better to use this. I could pass that as a regional form. Let's try this one, I guess. Uh, what level does Snubble evolve? Give it the experience share after I get you to level 30. This is also level 30? Okay, what about what about uh, Piloswine? I'm actually not sure, because I don't use those Pokemon too much. Anyways, I should also be able to teleport now. Yeah, it's just fly. Okay. Pallet Town, Viridian City. Everywhere I've been, but can't fly to nowhere anywhere I haven't been for some reason. Never occurred to me that Diglett's Cave technically goes under Celadon. Huh. Weird. I suppose I could get the fossils revived, but it's not a big deal. Oops, I hit the wrong button. It's easier to teleport around, ain't it? Easier to do quests this way, too. What am I doing? This is the gym, not the museum. Over here. We're not just a museum, we research fossils, we have a machine. Do you have a fossil? Dome fossil? Sure. Come back around 2 o'clock, it should be ready by then. What time is it right now? Oh, I have to wait real time for it. Alright. Gonna take a few hours, not just walk in and out of a room. Okay, if that's the case. Let's just continue on our merry way. There's still trainers over to the right of Vermilion City. There we go. I don't have a bike, what am I doing? It's just a few minutes, so it's like, why even bother? Just make it, let me walk in and out of the room like normal. Thundershock. Win, lose, or draw. 
Poliwag. It's a little friend. It's also gonna die. I don't see the point of making me wait a few minutes for it. <laughs> it's just, it's just oddish. There we go. Boosted 177. Watch out for live wires. Engineer got a Magnus Shrew. Ugh. Should've hit Brick Break. I don't know why I went to chip away. Careful, I'm laying down some cables. Just smack it. Break it. Calm mind. Nah. Okay. It's about all you can really do with some of those Diglett uh, fusions, huh? Okay, it had sturdy. I kind of forgot Magnemite can even do that. Nice. I'm looking for an electric Pokemon. Do you want to trade one for that? Uh, thing? Does it mean coughing and Magnemite? Well, better get back to work. Unless, of course, you want another battle. Back to work, then. Pokemon is life and lives to gamble. You want to play a game? 2,000 to play, and I'll give you something good if you win. No. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be, friend. You probably shouldn't be doing that. Oh, God, a Hootnat! A Hootnat. It looks like his eyes have been glued on. They don't look right. He just got hooted. Competition. I can't get enough. Regular ass Mankey. I'm still on the hunt for a Thunderstone. Benno ish. This, uh, this Pokemon I'm using right now is not done. It still needs to become part Raichu. If I can, I would like to evolve into the Slacking for Azumaroth. Because, for those that missed it, I have a Pokemon with Slacking's attack that's going to have Slacking's attack, but it currently has huge power from the Azumarill half. Best wonder trade I'm ever going to get. Oh, by far. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. Trying to fix my thing. What's the blue? A Drowans! I don't like that. I don't like that at all. 2,000 right there. Okay, it's just free money in the ground. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to get me to go gamble, but I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna do that. That's not very wholesome. I think playing with the speed bumped up by one level is good enough. It's too jarring to look at if I make it go even faster. Kind of reminds me of when I played, like, the, um... Like, the Drayano Pokemon Platinum hack. Uh, Renegade Platinum. There's an optional patch you can apply to it that makes the game, like, let you move around at, like, times two speed. Gen 4 is infamously slow, so it's pretty good to have that. Whoa, where'd that huge Pokemon in Route 12 come from? I'm looking for a nocturnal Pokemon called Benonet. Would you like to trade one for Mareep? That's too bad. Oops. Hey, it's Janine. I'm trying to get to Fuchsia City, but this huge Pokemon's been blocking the way for days. Tried everything and it won't budge at all. Have you tried, like, sidestepping it a little bit? In using Surf? You're going to Lavender Town? I'm afraid you'll have to go all the way through Rock Tunnel. There's no way around it. What's actually kind of funny is they actually put an, a reference to Janine in Fire and Leaf Green, but the translation team misspelled her name, so no one realized that she was supposed to be Janine. It's like some random, like, uh, woman NPC in Fuchsia that you can register in the fame checker. There we go. I did my best, I have no regrets. Let's do a quick rematch. Dylan also said surf, I mean duh, we're both smart cookies, aren't we? Bulldoze. Yeah, I walked right into that, didn't I? Okay. Let the Kleftos do it. The Kleftos is the only Kleffa adjacent creature I will allow on this team. 
Water Fairy is good. We could say that we've purified it. Hang on, let's go back here. Heal up. Or Smart Bear, sure, we can be all those things. Excellent. It really is nice to have a game like this just kind of turn on, like... It's not super extreme hard, and it's just fun to mess around with stuff. I need more games like this to kind of play. Especially for a big day like Sunday. Um... You can't do much until you evolve, so I'm going to let you evolve, and then I'm going to start experience sharing this thing. Let's have Kleftos be up front, though. The level's up. So, I guess we're going back to Cerulean, but it wouldn't hurt to rematch some more trainers along the way, right? Hang on. I didn't try going in here yet, even though they told me about the back entrance last time. Oops. Voltorb is powering the beacon. Okay. Guess there's nothing I can do. I have to bring a Voltorb to it. Uh, hang on a second. This is a double battle. So let me put a Zoomeroth in the second slot. Two against one, we can't possibly lose. I forgot to check the Poker Radar on the other route. Let me do that, too. I love the, the Zoomer haircut on a Zoomeroth. A Zoomer, I suppose you could call it. Brick Break on you. And Slash on you. Slash is Stab, because I'm part normal. Mm, pardon me. Peekins. Audicate. Um... I don't know, just thrash it, I guess. Slash it. It'll kill it regardless. Turn out to impress a lady. Oh! Bringing up this menu lets me do a quick, like a quick input for teleport. That's pretty handy. Okay, slack off with, was the rare mon. I caught it. Of course, I got the best one through Wonder Trade, so that's... Yeah. Hang on. Oh, come on. There's Ekans. No problem. You intimidate me, I intimidate you. Mareep is the rare encounter here. Or wait a second. No, it's not highlighted by green. Therefore, it's a... Uh, it's just a rare encounter I can find normally here, then, huh? Well, I haven't run into one. But I got the Snubble. The, the Snubble Swine Up. That seems like a cool thing to use for now. So I'll take it. Anyways, teleports. I need to head back to Cerulean. There we go. Well, I didn't want a bun eerie. Why would I catch one? You see here. I'm a clown. I tell jokes for a living. No. Don't really need to heal here. Gym leader's done. And I can cut to move forward. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Excuse me, ma'am. Not just claim me. Kleftos. Take a bite out of that Oddish. There we go. 27. Send it out, send it out. And now I'm safe to just thrash the remaining members of the team. Twister. You don't need that. <laughs> at all. Weepin' Sprout. It's just Weepin' Bell Bell Sprout. It's like the, the in-between of their evolution. I just healed my Pokemon. You want to rematch? Yeah, I can get a Bulbasaur from that person if I trade him a Fire-type, but I don't really want a Bulbasaur right now. Great, I was bored, eh? I wanted to get some members of the current team evolved. Of course, I'll be switching out and raising other stuff along the way, because it's fun to experiment. Excellent. Manix. Oh, it's, it's Onyx the Mankey Head, but it's, it's got patches of hair. Ew. Ah, oh, sturdy, that's why. Oh, that's annoying. Stealth Rock. Kill. 
You're gonna have the guts to stand up to me. Handle rematch. All good, just keep on training. Ally switch. I'm taking Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender Town. The Onyx Fusions do kind of look <laughs> cursed. <laughs> Speaking of cursed. Heart Psychic? Nope. Okay, so water fire. Doesn't really matter then. Simander. <sighs> oh. That boy don't look right. Can't measure up. I got up early every day to raise Pokemon from cocoons. Butter drill. There we go. And now we got B free. Okay, let me see what I can run into here. Check the radar. Regular Mankey. Ooh, there's a lot here. Those have those are just all evolutions, right? Is that Persian below Ratata? Eradicate here. Hyper Fang. Get a smack. Close the screen. There we go. I need to heal right quick. What about you? I love my Pokemon, but... That what I've always wanted is a fairy type. You don't happen to have one, do you? I'll trade you any of my Pokemon for a fairy type. Nah. I don't need this Pokemon. Full restore. Who's that walking with those good looking Pokemon? That sounds so weird. He's got a Pikachu. He must be stopped. Ah, oh, static. Okay, Kurtar is getting there. I may as well give it Thrash. Actually, wait, what am I saying? You're a special attacker. You don't need Thrash. Sandra. <laughs> That's just a regular name. Magnitude 7. Hey, there it goes. 25. Pidgey. Do it again. Alright, I'm gonna send out Pika King here. I should have switched. I'm paralyzed and confused, and oh, great. No, stop doing that. I hate how on this menu I can't tell what's highlighted sometimes. Okay, give him a shock again. You're good. Let Mr. Melian take the lead. Aha! Uh -huh. Come on, dude. He's got an item. Regular ass Diglett, what's gonna do? Except get Psy Beamed. Psy Beam it again. I do have Flash, don't I? Uh, I'll probably teach it to someone. <sighs> that, that thing looks scary. <laughs> Magikarp's mouth with Graveler's eyes? That's a face right there. Got sturdy. Going for magnitude. You beat me fair and square. Got a rare candy. I like how I can see the map cutting off. Yo, my super bug Pokemon. I'm gonna side beam shock. Drown at. Oh, ew. Ew. Ah, it's poisoning me. Might have to teleport back. Is it part poison? Will this be a neutral hit? Yeah, okay, good. Teleport and heal up these status effects more easily. Better net, send it in. My bugs. I just healed my Pokemon. No. Max Potion. 
I'm gonna teleport right back. Uh, where the hell was I? Cerulean City's right there. The fact that it starts in between, that the map starts in between Johto and Kanto just throws off my position right there. Now, currently, you're level 28. At level 30, it will, the Pupitar and, sorry, it'll evolve into Pupitar and Gardevoir at the same time, so that's a good milestone to get. So we could just keep rematching peeps for a quick second. Mr. Meleon would be good for rematching you. Plus, we get more opportunities to see more Pokemon this way. More potential fusions. And I get closer to the Charizard version of this. Weep and Sprout. Plus, it would be nice if I could learn Flamethrower. Relying on Ember and Fire Fang ain't that great for my fire parts. At this point, Kurtar can't really do anything by itself. It kind of dies too easily. There we go. It should have the Gardevoir face, so it'll have the special attack. Nice. Do it again. What do you think will look cooler? Gardevoir head, Tyranitar body, or Tyranitar head with Gardevoir body? <laughs> Either way, one of them's gonna be a thumbnail at some point. Weep and Sprout. Oddish. That there. What about another one now? That's good. You're at 29. 2,500. Aren't you a little toughy? Hey, Geodude. Should be fine. You're gonna have Sturdy. But I confused you. Ugh, Smackdown. No problem. Echnix. <sighs> Jeez. Every time I see an Onyx Evo, it's just like, damn. They got, like, all the horror artists to make these, didn't they? It certainly is a rock snake. Okay, can swap you from up front, I feel. Maybe let Azumara slaughter a little bit. My Pokemon gets tougher and tougher as it levels up. Math. <laughs> It's called math. That's funny to me. Kill it. I want you to have this. Thank you. Here's a tip. Use a Thunderstone on a Pikachu or even to make them evolve. Thank you. That was very helpful. Uh, let me just get that out and we can uh, evolve into something. I'm sorry I made fun of your Pokemon. Let me just lower the speed so it doesn't zip through this. Come on, come on. <laughs> I mean, it pretty much is the same thing. But hey, it's a Rai King. Pretty cool. It literally means Thunder King. It's pretty sick. I'll go back and get the fossils eventually. Lonely Nature. Got backup special attack if needed. There we go. Just in general, it's got the right... No, wait. Looking at this thing, I can't immediately tell. Does it have the Raichu face or the Raichu body? It looks like it's it's mostly Nidoking, now that I think about it. But it's fine as it is. Here's a tip, use that thing there. Let's do another one. Say Rye Face, yeah. Face determines color scheme, okay. I missed. Thank you, Aqua Tail. 
replace that with waterfall as soon as I freaking can. Echnix again. Getting boosted stuff. Hey, okay, we got an Evo today. That's pretty good. Now, what do we have here? Hero Vampy's here. Little baby elephant. Got an Oval Stone. Don't need that, though. There's also Voltorbs. I did need I did need one of these for a quest, or did I need two of them? No, some people at the fan club wanted to trade for them. That was it. Can't paralyze you. I'm just gonna go for it. Just gonna go for it. It was someone at Vermilion, I think. might that one's silly looking there's a rat some quick kills in there we're so close to the next evo but i want to find a fampy 1000 left Catch a Fampy and maybe train it later. Because I have enough physical attackers on my team. I mean, Azumaroth is the only physical attacker I'm going to need. Raiking is a mixed attacker, which is pretty good. I could, I, I could give it Thunderbolt for sure. <laughs> Voltans. That's a silly one. Checking the grass gives us a chance to see some stuff, too. No Fampy. Shrew! Pokemon Center should be just ahead anyway, but come on. The random, the random Jotomon seem to be pretty rare. There's a waterfall over there, I just realized. Nothing happened. Yeah. Alright. One more encounter, and then I'm gonna go down the center. Just wanna see if I can find a baby elephant friend. No! Just rats. Any more trainers down this way? There's that duo. Looks like I can go to the power plant from here. Let's have a talk with these peeps. I used to work at the old power plant just south of here, but then it closed. I haven't been since, but I heard it's overrun with Pokemon. Tried going through Rock Tunnel, but it was much too dark. I couldn't see a thing. Apparently someone will give you a move that will help you if you complete a certain number of hotel quests. I caught a tentacle by fishing in the sea. You should try it too. You might find something rare. Now I got Flash. But let me check down here. Oh, I can access grass, but I can't get in. Oh, there's the Fampy. Another thing I can't just hit with Thunder Wave. It's a little baby elephant. Let's use a defense curl. Hang on. Should be able to paralyze it with Lick, I just realized. Ow. Damn it. So much for that, apparently. Oh. Or Static could work for it, too. That Yeah, that's fine. Throw a Premier Ball at it. I probably should rename the, uh, the Snubble Fusion, shouldn't I? 
Endure. Nope. Little elephant friend. Okay, nickname, rename, just hit enter to reset. It's a swivel. Is there anything different here at all? A spear shrew. He's got defense. Oh, the gears? No, it's not the same route, it's different. Hang on, I should see if I can get my hands on them. There we go. That's interesting. I wonder what cursed abominations I could make with these guys. I actually don't know what these things do. Are they physical or, or special? They're just kind of there, aren't they? Let's see if I can static them with Kleptos. Not Kleptos, I meant Pika King. I mean, Rai King. Now I'm paralyzed. They certainly exist. Thunder wave. I don't know why I'm waiting on that. They're just physical defenders? Okay. They could be fun walls to play with. What if I combine them with, like, Chansey? Would that actually be something viable, I wonder? I want to catch it in a love ball, because we all love love the gears, right? Nope, didn't catch it. Hang on, maybe I should just, uh... Heal up the swivel. I should just use a regular potion. Why did I do that? Weaken it. Swivel's the only one that can hit things at this level. We're not absolutely murdering them. getting me. Come on, you're at minus three. Would just be normal steel without defense or HP. Oh. Oh well. Down to red. Throw a love ball. Hey, it worked. So what keeps the Pokeball in the fusion? I don't even remember. Interlocking two bodies and spinning around generates the energy they need to live. Okay, I caught it. Let me just heal myself up. What would be good typing for those things? Do they get levitate? No, I was hitting it with mud slap. Why would they? I wonder what they'd look like with the Fampy. Fampy's got pickup. Bashful nature. Neutral. It's got plus. Ew! We can get rid get rid of that, yeah. Plus is bad. So it can it physically attacks, I guess. Like, if I give this thing the body, I can apply its physical defense to something, right? It's good fusion- walls are good fusion material, if you think about it like that. So I can save it for that right now. Before I go into Rock Tunnel, let's beat up those trainers and finally evolve the Kurtar. I've been to a gym a few times, but I lost each time. Oh, you're about to lose again. Beauty Heidi got a Pikachu. Azumarok about to slaughter. Imagine walking through a rock tunnel and you see Azumarok just walking towards you. A, a what? What? Oh. Okay. I hate it. I missed Aqua Tail. I missed Aqua Tail again, two in a row. Kurtar wants to learn Psychic? Oh, perfect. Let's get rid of Confusion for Psychic. Excellent. No, I haven't updated it yet. Alright, this thing's gonna evolve twice now. Oh, 
that's an auto-generated one for sure. That That's just kind of lame. Look at it. Graphic design is my passion. It's just, it, it's literally just a crop out of Curlia's head put on on top of it. Oh, it's not evolving again? Does it have to level up again in order to apply both, both of them? Ah. It must. Okay. Can only do it one per level. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I assumed it would work. It would stack. Based on what people were saying before. Well, now I gotta level it up again. I can't leave it like that. It looks. It looks terrible. Teach you iron defense. Iron tail. Okay. Can I like rematch you? Yeah. Let's get that level. Why don't we? Yeah, just hit it again. Don't miss the Aqua Tail. Do it again. I don't think that there's going to be a custom sprite for Pupitar here. Hmm. Slash it. Oops. I went down the brick break. Wait, it had Sturdy this time? It didn't have it last battle. Hmm. Chip away. No, you got Slash. One thousand six hundred. Let's keep going. Everything will probably have a sprite with Gardevoir. You know what? You're right. I shouldn't underestimate the internet. Do you really think someone sat down and thought, hmm, I should draw Gardevoir combined with Pupitar? Like, who thinks about Pupitar? Oops, I hit Slash. Of course I did. Usually, they probably- I assume they go for the Tyranitar fusion first and work their way backwards because it sounds cooler to draw the final Evos first. I feel like middle evolutions are probably the ones that have, like, the most amount of, like, uh, missing sprites. Can I kill it with a single Brick Break? If it doesn't have Sturdy? Okay, it has Sturdy. Kill. Did I get it? Okay. Um, oh no. W what is this? Oh wow! That's actually good! <laughs> That's definitely a custom. That is actually very, very good for these two uh, being combined, yeah. A lot more attention to detail went into that, for sure. Uh, did it say who the sprite was? Like, it only shows the sprite artist, um, when you fuse them. Is there a way to check it on the party screen? Or can you only see it? It's called a Gardatar. <laughs> okay. That's when it's gonna have, its name is gonna be when it evolves to 82. Yeah, not bad. It's got the special. Can you do can you do it in the Pokedex or is that just a guess? Let me get a drink. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. It's definitely a step up from the Curlia one for sure. I could save and use an uh reverser, yeah, hang on. Kind of curious about that too. Save to file A. Saving just to spam these things is a good way to get more content for sure. Okay. Let me see. You can view the artist names in the Pokedex by pressing A on the first tab of the status screen. You might need to update the game though. Oh, is that like in a new update thing? Okay. Well, I can't really do that. I'll make sure it's updated for next time. I don't want to do. I don't want to figure that out in the middle of it. Okay. Uh, what? Were, where? Right. It's in this. This right here. I suppose since we're saving, I can also check uh, Ryking's inverse. Why don't we do that?
Okay, this is this one custom? <laughs> oh man. That is that that doesn't look very custom to me. No, you can see the blur lines of it kind of awkwardly scaling. What a freaking difference. What a difference. It's just Gardevoir wearing a Pupitar mask. I feel like there's some I feel like there's a potential for that to look really cool. Just give Gardevoir like a cool like masquerade ball mask. There's there's some concept right there. That would be a cool concept to see what the inverse fusion looks like too. Anyways, uh, let's check Ryking's inverse Evo and then I'll reset. Is this gonna be custom? Oh! It looks like a little gremlin. Neato Chew. Let's go back to the title screen. Uh, don't save. Okay, push the button. Push the button. Push the button. There we go. There we go. I hate how it loads there. Okay, 5.2.1 is available. That's the new one. Someone's going around claiming the intro, so I'm just making sure I mash through that as much as possible. I think it's more so the title screen music, but it annoys me when I can't skip it right away. I might just have to start hiding the screen just in case. My brother Dylan, who also streams this, uh, has had issues with that with said people. I'm just claiming the crap and he has to like edit it out and re-upload it. So anyways, this is the actual one we have. Unironically like really good for such a weird nothing fusion. Okay, so now that we've done that, I think I should go ahead and give the experience share. Oopsie. Experience share to the swivel. People sample Pokemon theme and claim it as their own. Yeah, the same thing happened. Um, for my birthday, I streamed the Link to the Past randomizer, right? And the, the file select screen music, which is just the great fairy fountain jingle where, you know, it's like do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. And some SoundCloud rapper just, like, sampled that, and he claimed that he claimed the, uh, not just the video, but also, like, muted the VOD on Twitch, and I was pissed about that. There we go. I'm currently getting that all stitched together as one massive thing. Hang on. Flash. I can always delete it later. Uh... I don't think I want to put it on you. What about Kleftos? I can always relearn this stuff later, but... Mm. You know what I could do, actually? I don't need confusion on Mr. Meleon. I might need some of these other moves on other things, though. Okay, let's do this. Alright. I don't often come here, but I will fight you. Do all these people just stand around in the dark being like, Hello, trainer! Would you like to battle me? Kind of creepy to think about. They can also see you in the dark when you can't see them. What's that? <laughs> it looks like it's giving me the finger with its right hand. Local Clefairy has accurate symbol on its body now. And I'm poisoned right away. Gonna go back. sick. Let's head in again. Oh yeah, you were- that is pretty relevant as well, yeah. When I was playing that game, Anglerfish, which was a cool indie horror game, the whole VOD's on YouTube now, there was a part in that game where uh, an NPC stops you and says, hey, there's about to be music that's gonna play and it won't get claimed on YouTube. And uh, that part got claimed, so I had to take the whole thing down and edit out like the five minutes of, of it playing. That was fun. I told y'all it would happen. <laughs> I told you it would happen. Although I wish I wasn't right. Uh, right, Mr. Meleon. 
Now then. Hmm. Zoomeroth just hit that level. Could let Klefdos do this for a bit. I'm not even sure if it was some random person or if it was like whatever company that represents the composer. I have no idea, but I had to edit it out. It was such a pain. There we go. Pokemon fight, ready, go. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got that, the green onyx or substitute costume. Take a bite out of that slow poke. <laughs> My bone! Oh, <laughs> that looks so silly, I love it. Look at it, he's such a little tiny, he's such a little tiny friend. Tiny choke. Baby champ. Look at him. And now it's dead. When you go from orphan to champion. Alright, take a bite out of him. Mud bomb. Don't need that. Game over. My Pokemon are irking to fight you again. Don't want to rematch people here. Man bone. <laughs> oh, jeez. It just looks like a rat with a skull on its head. I, I kind of hate it. Too bad you can't get Annihilate in this game. Otherwise, I'd be probably more interested to train a Mankey Evo. Cubat. <laughs> Damn, all these Cubone evolutions are coming for me. It's like I'm playing a Creepypasta game. Nice to be able to see them in the wild. Gonna repel. I paint Pokemon when I'm home. Painter, what's her face, is sending stuff out. Take a bite out of this Oddish. Ooh, I don't want to go to sleep, so let's just thrash ya. Glusor! I feel like I've seen this one. Thrashed. Swivel's leveling up, wants headbutt. Eh. Your moves don't matter right now. Jigglyth. Like, with Sigilith? I'm curious what this is. Oh, no, it's Meowth. It's... Ugh, it looks like a flesh cat. Is dead. Well, I'm exhausted. Oopsie. Hang on, how close is Kleptos? Let Kleptos get one more level and I'll put Pika King up front. Can you please trade me a Pokemon that knows Flash? I'll trade you the Jigglyth for it. I taught it the move Sketch so that it could paint with me. Okay, well that's an interesting trade, but I uh, do not want to play with a Sketcher. I got lost, but you'll help me find the way. All cats are made of flesh. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't try and play smart. Magpoke looks spooky. 864, Swivel. I still lost, so I got plenty of time to battle. Want a rematch? Do that. Gold dude. <laughs> Is it even floating? It's gold bat, but it has Geodude's, like, like, bumpy looking head instead of feet. Okay, sturdy. His jaw is too heavy. Machop. Hit me with your best shot. You know, when we saw the tiny choke, I wonder what the Machamp version of that half would look like. Can you even get them like that? I have all leveling up, though. Ah, who cares? 21. Icy Wind. Better than Powder Snow. 40, 100, 55, 95. Yeah, whatever. C 
cough chop. I like how all the Machop Evos have that funny little, like, uh, pose that Machop does for the sprite. I really love singing 80s pop rock hits in the dark. Do you have a Pokemon that knows how to sing? I'll trade you any of mine in exchange. Okay. Imagine, like, you're, you're alone in the dark, then all of a sudden, you hear, like, someone snapping their fingers, and this hiker walks out of the dark, and he just starts saying, Just beat it. Just beat it. And then he throws out his Pokeball, and a bunch- and the tiny Machokes just start running at you. Let me fight all the trainers here first. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Fear dude. <laughs> Fear dude. That's a funny name. A very powerful name. Oh, part rock, of course. Duh. What am I doing? Okay. Let me send in the zoomer off. Definitely gonna grind some trainers after Rock Tunnel to see if we can do this. I just realized on the subject of copyright stuff, I'm probably gonna have to mute Lavender Town every time I'm in there. Which version of Lavender Town's music plays in this game? Is it the Heart Gold Soul Silver version? That might be okay. But uh, g mostly the Gen 1 version and stuff always gets like claimed when I let it play. Did Dylan mention having any issues with that version of Lavender Town? It should be okay then. I'll try to talk over it anyway, because I'm paranoid. Let's keep going. Low sweep. This is different. Great, I'm already lost. There wasn't another thing back there then. Oh, there it is. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. Steenix. <sighs> it's Onyx. Between Onyx and Steelix, the awkward teen years. Heart Gold so Silver didn't have a Pokemon Tower to climb, so I wonder what they used for that. Good question. Probably the Fire Red Leaf Green version, if I had to guess. There we go. Playing this has made me think about, like, messing around with Pokemon Essentials again. I've done that a few times, but it never really goes anywhere. Let me switch things. Because I've actually been starting to mess around with, like, uh, game dev software and RPG Maker and stuff. Like, last night, I was just messing around and I was kind of just relearning how to, like, convert audio files so that they can play in the engine when you're making a game. Just that felt satisfying for me to figure out. Um, Ryking up front. I don't think that'd be a thing I'd stream, no. I, like, last time I made a game was right when I started YouTube and had no, like, views whatsoever. So I don't have the time for that anymore. Excellent. Geoler. <laughs> I love when they're, when the pre-evos, like, uh, fuse with their evos. Funny. I really do should play more like little little fan games, even the short ones. Like uh, a couple things on my list. Like I know there's a, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon ROM hack. Well, there's lots now. One in particular that people are really recommending me is Explorers of Spirit. Oh, Swimble's evolving. Nice. Ah, that one's definitely not custom. It just has a blurry pig face. Unfortunate. I don't think that was level 30. I think they probably meant for Piloswine. Well, we'll keep training it. It's sleepy now. Okay, what was I talking about? No, I mean something different from Mystery Box, yo-yo. I'm talking about playing more short little games that, like, people do game jams for, uh, essential stuff all the time. One of my favorites that I played was that short one, uh, Pokemon Nightshade. It's like a short game where you just play as, like, a Pokemon Park Ranger going around doing stuff. I thought that was really neat. It was a very short game, 
And I got through it in, like, what, three parts? I think I did the whole thing in one stream, but I broke it up. Man Bat. <laughs> I love these silly names. There we are. Yeah, just, if I could just find a few more things like that. Because I've tried it before, but some of them are a little bit broken and not too fun, and I end up dropping them. But it is just kind of nice to find, like, a short passion project that someone just used with Pokemon assets. I'm not sure I'd say I have a favorite fusion. Okay, Ice Shard, way better. Let's get rid of Icy Wind. Sure, we can figure that out. Ooh. I can't quite tell if that's custom or if it's just the head pasted on. Don't see any blurry parts, do I? It's kind of hard to... Because, like, at that angle, Rhyhorn's head don't quite look right. Ooh. Do it again. I give up. Found this egg in the cave. So, all right, then. I found a free egg. I got to talk to the other dude, though. I don't know, maybe it's because when I think about the warmer we weather, like spring and summer. Hang on, what's this? Okay, I'll take that. I get kind of nostalgic for Pokemon stuff, don't I? Excellent. Roddy Chop, not quite enough. Okay, let me just use a potion on you. What was I saying before I got that? 80 points. Yeah, I, I, I recall, like, last summer I did talk about wanting to mess around with some, making some stuff for myself. But that didn't end up happening, because, like, I would say since last summer, I've had so much, like, happen and go on with me that I, pretty much all of my free time has just been devoted to keeping up with streaming and some video work. Even that's been on hold. Did you know that hikers leave twigs as trail markers? Like, as many of you know, like, last month I especially fell behind because I had that incident where I hit my head and was in the hospital, and then I had to recover for a bit. That was fun. There we go. It feels like only, like, recently I, may I was able to, like, start doing things outside of streaming again. Like, uh, I went downtown to a restaurant with her for my birthday. That was fun. Uh, I went for a walk. I've been going for walks again. There we go. Because I had to- I pretty much had to stay inside for a good chunk of time. Chip away. 27. Oh, I did my best. One day I'll go back and get that fossil, but I don't worry. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Damn. These Onyx fusions are so metal, I love them. They're just so wild, but they're part Onyx, so you don't care. I guess Onyx's defense is worth it. It's the kind of stuff that makes artists, like, uh, gets their brains going. Brick break, run out of stuff. Yeah, Onyx has, like, the highest defense stat in the entire, like, Gen 1 list. Onyx's whole existence is basically just to be a tutorial for the player to learn how to use special moves in, uh, Gen 1. That's all it's good for. In Fire Red Leaf Green, it, it has some- it has one use. Um, the only thing Onyx does in Gen 1, or sorry, Fire Red Leaf Green, is that it has a chance of holding a hard stone. So, if you catch one, you have a chance of getting a rock boost and attack. That's the only, only good it has. Max revive. Oops. Chip away. Hey, that was a fun battle. Wanna have another one? Not right now. Okay, that's the way out, but what's back here? That's the- we found the inverted version. It's a Q-choke. It's got a skull frickin' belt now. Look at it. This is the inverted version of the tiny one we saw a little while ago. That's a Digimon? No, it would be a Digimon if instead of the- 
the Speedo, it had, like, uh, some jorts. Unless it's wearing jorts, it does not look like a Digimon to me. Okay, there's two ways to go. Not enough leather belts, exactly. Fry King is pretty cool. Keep using Chip Away on it. Exapoke. <laughs> okay, it's a weird looking one. Just keep using Chip Away. I'm running out of PP for Rai King, so uh oh. Well. Swap it out, let Mr. Meleon do it. Excellent. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know. Maybe, I, I mean, I'm taking tomorrow off. Maybe I'll think about it. I'll see if I can mess around more with stuff. I mean, I'm sure, I, I'm sure Kudo would even, like, uh, show me some things or answer some questions about essentials if I had any. I'm sure plenty of people in the Discord probably would. Hang on. Mr. Meleon up front. His Rai King's running out of PP. Excellent. Video games are fun. I feel like the way forward is the one up there, so I'm gonna check down here and see if it leads to a TM or something. Why did the his sprite do that? It looked like he was holding the berry for a second. What do we have here? Spell tag. What's this? It's dangerous to go alone, take this. Own edge. Okay. Sure, I'll take it. Alright, Zelda reference, let's go. We got a ground gem. We call that a rock. We call yeah, we call those rocks. Uh what am I doing? Not the bag menu. Mr. Meleon used Flash. It's a good thing I decided to check that path. Ember. What level is the swivel? 26. It's getting boosted, at least. I imagine Hone Edge would have some pretty sick fusions, yeah. Hmm. Should save that for something cool. Could even eventually, when I've had my fun with the Charizard and Mr. Mime, I could just take the Mime part away and put that on. Um, can I just Slash's ability even be a part of a fusion? Come to think of that, would that, would that even work for cast form either? I feel like Cast Form probably isn't even in the game because of that. I mean, who wants Cast Form here? Coppagy. Hone Edge and Machamp would just be Machamp wielding four swords at once. That'd be sick. Cubone and Hone Edge. Oh, that might be kind of sick. Instead of a little bone, he wields a sword. I gotta try that. Yeah, so does I just slash fusions just give the defense nothing about its attack stat since it can't change form, so to speak? I feel like, yeah, mixing and matching that might be kind of- Oh, that's- that's actually pretty sick. I like that. Haunter and Oddish. Kill it. Pidgeotto, you're floating. Roar, nah. Got a diamond. Excuse me. All right. Just a good sellable. What about Teddy Ursa with Hone Edge? <sighs> that would be cute. It would be the ultimate Teddy. The powerful Teddy. Aside from that gift, Hone Edge, how late in the game can you catch Hone Edge? 
Oh, that's cute. Um, it's doing the pose of Geodude's like red and blue sprite. I recognize that. That's cool. Dirty. On dude, Max Ether. Teddy can handle sharp tools, don't worry. Remember, I played as Teddy Ursa in The Link of the Past, Rando. Bears can handle swords. Hey, you've almost made it out of the tunnel. But let me teach you a thing or two about Pokemon battling before you get to the exit. <laughs> Shell tongue. That actually fits really well because of, like, you know, the tongue, the tongue part of these two. Okay. Protect. Do that. I'm pretty sure that's cut that's custom. <laughs> oh god, the mouth is on his chest. Oh, I hate that. I hate looking at that. Kill it. Oh, I'm dead. Swivel's getting high up in level. Ooh, let us zoom her off, do it. Pincer fusions have the opportunity to be scary because of its mouth, don't they? You looked cute and harmless, but you certainly know how to fight. Whenever I rematch, I'll heal your Pokemon and use my full team this time. No forfeiting, though. Don't think that's a good idea right now. Uh, let Zoomeroth just finish all this place off. I still have Garda, Tar. Just run. Okay, more rocks to break. Oh yeah, once I get the slacking half of this, this thing is going to be a demon. People have told me that it does have a custom sprite, but uh, it, it's using an auto-generated one right now. A bit further to go. Rock smash my way around that stuff, though. Just brick break, because we know it's got sturdy. Take it out. Geodude. Geodude. Nice. Take down. Nah, you don't need take down. Sandler. <laughs> okay. So funny looking. Sand Slash and Graveler is what it's supposed to be. It just looks weird to look at. Aqua Tail? I missed. How many times am I going to miss the 90% chance Aqua Tail? The answer is uh, more than 1 in 10. Alright, Brick Break it. I go for power because I hate thinking. Got a Hard Stone. Max Potion. There's a worker, but... Okay. It's raining here. Should be safe to let it play. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of gold. I'm a clown. I tell jokes for a living. What sort of ice cream do people eat in the Sinnoh region? Coronetos? I don't get it. Come back when you want to hear another joke. Hey, I found this weird blue egg during my trip to the Hoenn region. I'll give it to you for 5,000. Pay that. PN paid that. Player name paid that. That's a little bit of an oversight. Oh, it's a fusion egg. No, that's what I got from the, uh, the hiker. What the hell is this? Uh, he said Hoenn. Oh, it's a why not egg, isn't it? It must be. First, I'll take this with me. Um, I can... This thing's... No, wrong, wrong one. This thing's high enough level. I can leave it here for now. It's gonna be a while before it gets to level 55, but it seems pretty competent because of the Gardevoir half, so I can use it for sure. 
Probably use it to steamroll the tower when I go through. Got Hone Edge. Relax Nature, no guard. Uh, it doesn't have speed, but it never was fast anyway, so this is okay. Fury Cutter, Swords Dance. I'm kind of curious, what if I combine the sword with the gears? I wonder if that'd be interesting to look at for a little bit. Uh, let me make a save first. Save to file B, save the game. File A, yes, save the game. Oops, I meant to hit fuse. Oh no, I have to do it on the menu, I see. Fuse. Oh, I don't have any DNA splicers? Damn it, I have to go buy some more. Picked up a bunch of money. DNA splicers. Let me just grab 30 of these boys here. And just have 10 of these on hand so I can save and reload to do that. What's this? Different Pokeball that works better on fused Pokemon. Tracks wild fused Pokemon for 50 steps. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's carry around some of these. Probably time to buy some Great Balls as well. Hang on, actually, let me buy 10. Old friend, welcome. Three Premier Ball. What about the other dude? Ghost Gem, Dark Gem, Dusk Ball. I do like Dusk Balls a lot. Buy 10 of them. And free Premier Ball. All right. So now that I've done that, what was I going to do with this egg? Take a while to hatch, but whatever. Right, I wanted to fuse the sword and the gears. Remember, I can always unfuse it later. I feel like combining I just slash with a bunch of things will be worth training it all by itself, even if I don't use it in anything important. Okay, game save to file A, save to file B. Do it again, because I'm paranoid. You know what? I could just fuse it a bunch of times right now, just for the heck of it, and then reload. I don't think I poke a in the cave. Could I? Yeah, I think I could do that. Okay. Both custom. Oh, damn. Can inverse it. Pokemon are being fused. Come on. What is that? It's a gear sword. It's a clink edge. I almost just read it as kink edge, and then I almost regretted it my entire life up to that point. But a good thing I didn't say that. Right, chat? Sword gear. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder if I should pick minus or no guard. Doesn't matter. We're going to redo it. Reverse. Since I'm going to reload anyway, I can combine some other stuff just for fun. It's kind of a cool idea. It's a ho honink. Okay. Unfuse. Yes. Unfusing. Hone Edge was sent to PC. What if I combine Hone Edge with Gardevoir? Let's do that. The music has stopped. Oh, right, I can't... They're obtained in a trade. I can't do that. Oh, well. All right, let's combine Cleffa with Hone Edge and see if we can make it an even greater demon. Use DNA Splice. <laughs> one of them is custom. This one isn't. Is it just going to be, like, a Cleffa face in the middle of the sword? It's so lame. Nice for getting this up, yo-yo. All right, this one's for you, Mina. Appreciate me. Being fused. <laughs> by Solariox. I'm saying that right. It's got a little stubby knife. Look at that. It's happy. Happy to kill. Star Sword Pokemon. Keep Cleffa's move set. All right. I don't. We don't need to reverse it. It's just going to be auto generated. Yes. Let's do that. Looks like the hero of some pixel adve indie adventure game. That is such a very specific yet accurate uh, idea. You know, I haven't trained the Polypip at all. I should do that sometime too. 
Twin Edge was sent to the PC. Okay, let's fuse it with... How about Kadabra? Replace the spoon with the sword. I like how this is the custom one, but this one looks like it'd be way cooler. <laughs> but it's auto-generated. I need to see what the auto-generated one looks like, but this I want to see this first. Let's go. <laughs> it's the spoon! That's a long username there. The spoon sword. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna reverse it. It's showing the Klepa sprite there, that ain't right. What's the auto-generated one look like? <laughs> you know, it's auto-generated, but so some artists could make something cool with this idea. I feel like the pieces are right there. <laughs> the pieces are right there. That's a Zelda enemy, yeah. Not half bad for auto-generated. Kinesis, no. On bruh. All right, let's unfuse them now. DNA splicers, yes. Unfusing. This is probably like the most fun part of the game, just sitting in the PC box fusing things. I got this in a wonder trade and I can't unfuse them, but what if I inverted this? It's a uh, Bond Sly and, and um, Unknown, obviously. Do I want to see? <laughs> Have you ever regretted a decision so so quickly? An Unsly. More like Unsightly. Get it away from me. Impish, Rockhead. Yeah, okay. Can't unfuse them. Hang on. Let's fuse Hone Edge with who's left? Uh, I did the gears. How about Fampy? Ah, uh, all auto. Oddish? Oh! Two customs. Alright, let's do it. Fuse Pokemon can evolve, yeah. I can't unfuse things I obtained through the Wonder Trade mechanic, though. Odd. Odd edge. What, what is it? Is it still a sword or is it like a tool? I, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Oh, it's... Hey, wait a second. I recognize that username. I guess that same person was making a lot of um different Hone Edge Evos or Fusions. Sword weed. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I like how it still has automatize. All right, now let's reverse it. Another custom. <laughs> a honish. Looks a little silly. Stun spore. No, this was not the level to fuse it. Apparently. Okay, now let's unfuse. Yes. Unfusing. All right. Who is left? Uh, Geodude and Voltorb right now. I should start catching some more random Pokemon just for, like, sessions like this. This is a lot of fun. Ooh, these look like they'll be cool. Okay, let's do this. I'm trying to find my... Something a little over here. Ooh, okay. It's a Pokeball Skewer with, like, lightning. It's a Voltage. Confirm. No! I hit Combine again. I'm gonna reload anyway, so none of this matters. Alright, now let's reverse it. Take a look at this one. It's a Hone Orb. Yeah? It's about right. Screech. Yes. There we go. Okay. 
All that's left now is, let me see here, the Geodude. Unfusing, one edge was sent to the PC. Some of these look really cool, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, a sword in the stone. I like how this, uh, from the silhouettes, you would assume this is the auto-generated one, but I feel like this one... Come on, show me that. What's it look like? Oh, it's got the moss on the rock, too. That's cool. But Honedge's eye is on Geodude's eye. Rock sword. Excalibur. A golem I just slash would look pretty sick with that idea, yeah. Alright, let's see the auto-generated one since I'm doing this. <laughs> that is the lamest auto-generated one I've ever seen, oh my god. It, it really considers Honedge's, like, little strap as its hand, and that, just, that looks so bad. <laughs> that looks so bad, man. Geo Edge. Okay. Unfuse it. There's nothing else I can quite do this with. Was there... Since I'm doing... I can combine Fampy with other stuff. I haven't done that, have I? Use... Quote this. No custom. Uh, Cleffa. No custom. Voltorb. Both custom. Alright, let's try this. Green silhouette means that uh, it is, is a custom thing. <laughs> it's a Voltby. Long ball. Do that. Keep Vampy's move set. Now let's reverse it to see the other one. That's pretty evil looking. All right, just as one more, I will unfuse Charmeleon and Mr. Mime and try Hone Edge on them. And then I'm gonna reload and get on with my adventure. Unfuse. Come on. Okay, use DNA Splicer. Holy moly, it's custom. Mr. Edge. It's a hone mime. No. Game Lord 64. Spooky. Alright, now let's reverse it and see the auto-generated one, because it's funny. That looks so bad. I can see why people are drawing a lot of custom ones for Hone Edge because the auto-generated ones look so funky when they consider like the little the little like uh scarf or whatever his hand. Mr. Edge. Shadow Sneak. Oh wait, now you're gonna learn Shadow Sneak? Why not before? Okay, let's unfuse. Last one I'm gonna see, Charmeleon with Mr. Ho Charmeleon with Honedge, sorry. Okay. Move, oops. Fuse. Oh, there's a custom. It looks like it's probably by that same person. This looks cursed even though it's, it's auto, but uh. All right, let's check them both. Yep. It seems this person's drawing, like, all the... Their interpretation of every, like, Hone Edge fusion is that instead of a sword, it becomes a different tool or whatever based on what it fuses with. This is like a Fire Scythe. Okay. Keep that. All right, now let's reverse it. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's, yeah, its hands are a little scarf there, so... Again, 
looks like if someone were to make a real custom one, it would look kind of cool. If that was kind of fleshed out a bit. I like how its sprite pokes into the bottom, though. All right. Nope. All right, now let's go back to the title screen. Hang on a second. Um, I'm just going to put the BRB screen up because I don't want to show the intro screen too much. No save. There we go. Yeah, just ignore the audio for a quick second here while I just mash through it. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Teddy bear's gone. Update. I will do that ne the next time I play this. Okay, so I keep all my DNA splicers now. I got my egg, Mr. Meleon. Now let's continue playing the game. All right. Take a peek around here for stuff. I think Pokemon are just the cutest. Oh, they put little benches on this route. That's cool. I like the little extra st uh, stuff they put things. Little, the little extra details they kind of put around in these games. Wiggly Fairy. <laughs> Hi, Minerd. You just missed me fusing a bunch of different stuff. I really should catch some more stuff just for the hell of it, shouldn't I? Didn't really occur to me, how, now that I actually have the money to afford a bunch of DNA splicers and inversers at once, it, it's fun to just screw around with that, for sure. Okay, Venonish. Just slash it. Saw the Honage. Hey, you want to play a game? No. Hey, do you want to rematch? Not yet. 186, 7 octillion, 64 septillion, 908 sextillion, 547 quintillion, 461 quadrillion, 32 trillion, 867 billion, 431 million, 647 thousand, 625. That's the number of possible team combinations you can have with Pokemon Fusion. Care to show me which one you're using? Sure. Oh, I need a breath after that. I did not expect him to keep going as long as he did. 21, send in Poriorb. <laughs> that's not an orb. That's a, that's a square. Well, I guess, yeah, it would become an orb on evolution with Porygon 2 part, huh? Break it. Grimer. I wonder if that math is actually true in this game. Not about the possibilities, it's about the one you decide on. I'm pretty sure everyone is going to be deciding on huge power slacking. If there was any real meta to this. Let's check what we got. It's a Meow Hoot. Alright, I don't actually want to catch a fusion, though. What do we got? What silhouettes is, are those? I think the rightmost one is Growlithe, but the one next to it is... I'm not sure what the second to last one is. Loudred? I'm not quite sure. Well, I don't have a snake. Hang on. I should be... Mm, yeah, I should be leading with Pika King. Or sorry, Rai King. Bullpix, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Thunderwave. And it should be able to tank a Brick Break. Oh, it has Shed Skin. Of course it does. Great ball at it. Let's catch some more things just for fun combinations. Regigigas and Slacking would just create the most lazy Pokemon ever. Two points. Swivel leveling up. Snake. Okay. Volpix is next to the silhouette, so it's not it. There's a Meowth. Meowth is kind of basic and lame. Hang on. Let me put Nido King up front. Dry King up front. You think it's Poliwhirl? That yeah, could be. I don't have a Pidgey. That's another reason I wanted to get further in the game to fuse things, because there's just too many basic looking Pokemon that I can just see in the wild anyway, I, I, I think. One, two, three, boop. But we'll grab this. 
Just so we have more things to mess around with later for the hell of it. A pit bull. Oh, Snubbles here? Is that what that is? Also, Pitbull's face is white as hell. Yeah, it's Snubble. They changed position now. Okay. A snub shrew. Ooh. I'm finding the fusions of it. That's for sure. It's got defense and oh god, I got magnitude 10. Of course I did. Slash it. Maybe it's because of the time of day. Also true. It's a meow bull. I saw the blue parts of it. I was like, wait a second. Is that like part shiny? I'm finding all the snubble fusions, but no snubble alone by itself. What about inside the Pokemon Tower? Let's see if I can get something there. Also, check the radar back up there. I want this egg to hatch for sure. Long ago, Rock Tunnel was just a big hollow rock with no entrance. People came and drilled through the walls with a Pokemon technique called Drill Run. Very useful in battle. Ah, that would be good on Ryking. 80 and 95, yeah. It'd be better than relying on Chip Away for everything. Nice, now I have Ground Stab. Stardust. I'm picking up a lot of these things right here. It seems like Rock Smash is a good way to kind of build up sellables, ain't it? I feel like this game gets more and more fun every time I stream it. Hang on. Oops. I meant to pull up the radar. We got you, dude. Sturdy. If I hatch the fusion egg, I can defuse them. Yeah, couldn't I- shouldn't I do that with the Natu thing? I didn't get that from a trade, right? Now then... What button was it? Are you serious? The flash- Like, the darkness covers the radar screen? <laughs> that seems like a very, very obvious oversight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Shuckle. Okay, this is a perfect thing to grab. They're working on it. Okay. Regular Thundershock. I don't suppose it's been... Oops, okay, Berry Juice. If it's already been fixed in the version I haven't updated to, I can't really complain about it, can I? Throw a dust ball at it. Oops, wrong pocket. Excellent. Okay. If you do, you can use it multiple times from the bag, increasing the light radius each time. Using flash from the bag? Huh? You mean just using it from the Pokemon menu? Flash's already been used. The flash replacing item. I don't think I have an item replacing it. Did I? No, I don't. Where is Route 5 again, Yo-Yo? I'm not sure. This is Route 10. I can always teleport away, but I don't have Guard War on me. I want to hash this first. Okay, well, I guess I can worry about that later. What's this? Naming club, they call me Name Raider. There used to be more demand for my work, but now trainers don't come to seek my advice anymore. Care to let me rate one of your Pokemon's nicknames? No. I see. He's useless. Hang on. What's this? Picture of the Name Raider's own Pokemon. Peter the Pincer and Maggie the Machoke. Okay. Can I get this? Where was this here? Oh, it's the Pokemon house. Are you looking for Mr. Fuji? He's probably at the tower. That's where he always goes when he isn't here. 
This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's kind, looks after abandoned Pokemon. What a nice friend. You'd almost forget he was part of the Mewtwo uh, creation team. Let's check down here. This is Route 12. Catch a handful of more Pokemon and fuse them. Man, I'm gonna get so addicted to just fusing from the box. I'm not gonna make as much progress, but hey, if this goes on forever, just more clicks and views, wink wink. Nice. That's fine. Oh, I hit level 30? Nice, we're gonna get, uh, see an Evo here, I think. Bolt Dean. <laughs> it would drill run. And I missed the 95. That was fast. Hang on, my line snagged. Oh, no evolution, actually. <laughs> He's almost there. He's level 27. He should be there, but not quite. Twister. Not dying fast enough, huh? It's level 30. What level is Pilot Swine happen again? I think maybe I, I misread the chat member. They may have been talking about something else. 33? Alright, I'll keep going with it. I really want to see it get there. And then let's focus on Azumaroth getting to 36. I, I'm more curious about Slack King than I am about Charizard, Mr. Mime. And you've already hit your final part. Klepdos could probably get left behind a few times since it doesn't need to evolve anymore, but it's a very useful Pokemon. 36 is Ancient Power, so yeah, I should be able to get the full form soonish. Um, let me go back and get Teleport, though. Alright, I thought it froze for a second here. Let's go look at Route 5, as you've been recommending. No fusion yet. Wait. Hmm. Let me just get out of Lavender Town if you before I do this. Right, can do this. Route four. That's Cerulean. Which one's Route Five? That's twenty-four. Route seven. can't check the all the route names on the map screen. It is below Cerulean? Okay. Let's go there then. Hang on. I thought that was Brocket for a second. Oh, right! There was Cut here. I couldn't do this before. I see a bear! That's why you want me to go here. Catch that too. Alright, let's catch all the bears now. It's Tenny time. Balloon Mon. Oh, wait a second. It's not... Yeah, it doesn't have a, a green outline, so it's just a regular encounter here. I'll even accept the Tenny Fusion so I could just uh, split them apart. I could get a bell sprout. That could make some cursed crap. Oh, great. I'm asleep now. There we go. Show that you care. Catch a little bear. Maybe it Mareep were 1% encounters. Yeah, I couldn't find Boniri or Mareep on those routes when I saw their silhouette. Zubat's here. I don't really need Zubat.
I'm sure there will be plenty of Tenny Sprites. We'll see them. I'm sure maybe I'll see more when I get that update set up, too. I'm not sure if they are 1%. I'm just speculating here. I don't really want Meowth. Keep looking. At least take the free experience. Hang on. Sir, what are you? I'm the daycare man. Take care of precious Pokemon. This is a nice house for him, huh? Nobody has figured out how to make Fuse Pokemon breed yet, but someday we might. We raise Pokemon for you? No. It's back here. Kolefas. Pick it. This is a Pokemon nursery. We take care of the younger Pokemon. Someone abandoned this egg here. Poor thing. Won't you please take care of it? Someone did what? How dare they? Trainer left it here, but we don't know who it belonged to, so please take care of it. Destiny not. Okay. I guess I'm free to go back here. Full incense. Okay. We're making munchlax. Check that egg later. The elf is fake out in me. I'm not leaving until I find a wholesome little Teddy Ursa. I wonder if it's dependent on the time of day. Now, Teddy Ursa may have a moon symbol on its head, but that doesn't mean it's ever really been a nighttime on, right? I don't think it has. I know that in Crystal version, you can find it in the mornings in Dark Cave. Oh! It did change, you're right. Damn it. I should go to the hotel then. It doesn't show up at nighttime. Ogopi does. Poor little bear. Teddy sleep at night like good little little friends. Let me get this. Waterstone. Okay. That's good to pick up. Uh where was the hotel here again? Here it was. Right, I need to pay. Sleep for... I think it just became nighttime, so I'll say 12. I should have checked first. What time is it now? 2 p.m.? All right. Should go back and get that damn fossil. One day. Those would be good things to fuse for more fun. Not in the grass anymore. Okay, it doesn't have the green silhouette, so it's just somewhere here. Chat, spam Teddy Ursa emotes for good luck. That'll make Teddy appear. It'll show that there are friends nearby. Oh! Hate that. That right there is not a friend. Maybe I should put a uh, swivel up front so it levels up faster. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Wall of Teddies. Good job. Got to boost amount of experience. Jigglypuff. By the time I get that bear, I'm gonna have a handful of Pokemon we can fuse for fun again. I need to make a Teddy Ursa fusion for the thumbnail. Oops. That'd be great. Something grand and amazing. Thank goodness I can speed the game up a little bit. This is this amount of speed is just right for how much running around you gotta do. Does using the radar at least increase the chances? Because if it has, like, the, the green and white circle around it, it means it only shows up through the radar. There we go. Come on. Of course, I want to see what Honedge looks like when combined with Teddy. I feel like I need to have a Teddy Ursa on hand at all times. 
so that I can always combine everything with a teddy, because, uh, you know, you might want to see Ursa, Ursa Ring. Um, quick question. I kind of doubt it, but Ursa Luna is not in this, right? I need to ch end this chain. There we go. Crap, it's getting dark again. Ursa Luna is not? Okay. Oh, well. Where's the teddy? Where's the bear? I've shown that I care. Probably easier if I also just do it down here. I don't know why I keep going to the tiny grass. Kind of silly of me. Come on, bear, 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 bear. No! Is it really 1% or is it like 5%? Meowth. I want a teddy. I want a bear! I haven't run into a single shiny yet, no. Come on, Teddy Ursus. You've wandered so far from Johto. But I'm here to give the bear a good home. Does using the fusion incense increase the odds? I'm not sure. Like, how would, would that work? Because technically it's rolling two Pokemon at once when it does that, right? Oh, it's nighttime now. I could give that a try. Let me go back to the hotel. Tokipi might be something cool for later, but... Oops, Pokemon Center. Darn it. Another day spent with no Teddy. It just turned nighttime, so once again, let me just sleep for 12 hours. The struggles we must bear to show that we care. Let's run again. Wait. Okay, Togepi is still in the morning, huh? Really? Okay. It'll just be a couple minutes anyway. May as well see if I can grab a Togepi. Or run into a shiny. Or I could just get some quick steps for the egg. 9.56. Bear is day only. It's a lazy bear. It sleeps in. <gasps> it's a teddy puff! Well, now I need it. Well, I'll take this. It's a round bear. Don't make that noise at me. We'll just catch it and defuse it. How, what happens if you catch a fusion and unfuse them? Do they both have the same Pokeball? I don't think it really matters that much, but... Yeah, okay. Moonball would be perfect, but it doesn't really matter. Balloon Bear! <laughs> oh, that little teddy. I wonder if I can just grab another one right quick on the way out. Well, damn! There's a teddy. Bear has been found. Two bears for the price of one. Catch it, a moon ball. Don't cry to me, you little baby. No! In the ball, Teddy. Most Teddy fusion seem to be custom. Good. Teddy has been acquired. I could chain for more, but I, don't, I already got two, technically.
Uh, you know what? Let me get the fossil first. Let me ditch the other fossil as well. Uh, teleport. Alright. Where have you been? We finished reviving your fossil. Oh, I have to make room to take it right now? That's annoying. Okay. One little bear, two little bears. Why can't you just send it to my PC like everything else? Buto. Nope. Oh, right. Can't use the old amber. I have to take it to Cinnabar to get the claw fossil. Alright, organize fuse. Put this away. <laughs> oh, it's a Togepi egg. That's the abandoned one from the daycare. Well, I guess I don't really need to uh, hunt for a Togepi now, do I? Okay, take out you. What time is it? Let me just get the Anorith right quick. I'll go to the hotel and sleep. Uh, oh, it's over there. Twelve hours. Helping one more person will give you something good. Did I help everyone here? Revive. Could you please show me a fully evolved bug Pokemon? Don't have one of those yet. Does diffusions count for that? I don't recall. I'll have to do some questing and stuff later. Anyways, let me just go get that. Oh, right. There we go. Okay, I could do it here, but it's fine. I know I can always just level a Caterpie easily, but... I'll do that right that second. How close is the egg? Moves occasionally. I don't have my teleporter. Of course I don't. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me just swap my regular team member back in. As I can on Fuser. No way for me to possibly get the Gallade part of that, no. Alright, now I'm gonna make a save, and we're gonna mess around with fusions again. Save to file B, game has been saved. Save to file A, game has been saved. Alright, are you ready? It's Teddy time. Organize and fuse. First, let's unfuse Teddy Puff. And then let's combine Teddy Ursa with Teddy Ursa. There we go. I'm gonna fuse a bear with another bear to create a super bear. Two Pokemon are being fused. Uh, it's a regular brown bear, I guess? Yeah, it just looks like a brown bear. It is, in fact, it, I guess it's supposed to look more like closer to Ursaring. Hmm, keep Teddy Ursa's move set, keep Teddy Ursa's move set, or combine Teddy Ursa's move set. Is it meant to look like the beta Teddy Ursa sprite? Because I'm not super familiar with a lot of the beta sprites. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Now let's unfuse it. Now, there's one thing I want to get out of the way first. We're going to fuse Teddy Ursa with Kleppa. Hang on, can I fuse it with an egg? Yeah, okay, then why did it highlight that? Let's- oh god, they're custom. Now we have to see them both. Gremlins. Creating evil. <laughs> A Kleppa Ursa. A little shape Pokemon. Oops. Damn it. Come on, they're so low level. I gotta do this. 
Okay, now let's reverse it. <laughs> it's a teddy bear. It looks like it has a C on its head for Cleffa now instead of a moon. <laughs> Look at it. It's a little. It's got a little boopable face. It's so tiny. It's so tiny and happy. Oops. No, we're gonna unfuse him now. Oops. No, come on. Unfuse. Yes. 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 Apparently, a lot of people love Teddy Ursa, so they've been making custom Teddy sprites. We gotta see them all. Now, let's fuse Teddy Ursa with Hone Edge. Ooh. Alright, let's go. Ooh, look at that! It's Teddy with a little wooden sword. He's ready to fight. It's a Hone Ursa. I like that one. That could be the thumbnail. Little sword Pokemon. The hero of honey. Uh, no guard. Up defense, minus speed. They're both... Oh no, Bashful's neutral. Uh, combine. What do they have access to right now? It'd be Steel Normal, not Steel Ghost, though. Swords Dance. I don't know, Baby Doll Eyes. I'm not going to keep this. I'm just seeing what I can learn right now. Metal Sound. Look at that. I like that one a lot. That's cute. All right, let's reverse it, though, and see what the auto-generated one is. Oh, no, it's going to be the honey paw. <laughs> it's Teddy Edge. It's just a freaking little bear face on the, on the hilt of the sword. I know that apparently, yeah, a lot of the Teddy Ursa's sprites are good, but there's not a lot of Ursa Ring ones, so maybe evolving stuff isn't that great. I could also unfuse these things and see what they look like. Oopsie. Unfuse, yes. Music seems to cut out when I do this. Alright, what about... Ten years, sir. Uh. Hmm, with seal. That's custom. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's just seal, but it looks like a, its body mass just really shrunk down. Little lion Pokemon to see Ursa. Uh. Keep. Reverse it just for the hell of it. Malnourished seal. Teddy's just like, I don't want to be here. I don't like this. Encore? No. It just doesn't have a tail. Like, look at that. It's just tail is chopped off. Alright, unfuse it. Yes. Now, use the bear. Budo. Ah. Auto. All auto. Bampy. Ooh, custom bears. Let's go. <laughs> it's a fan Ursa. Some little merchandisable bootleg gremlin. Little nose Pokemon. Now let's reverse it. Aw, the little crescent moon is on its nose too. It's a Teddy P. Okay. Unfuse again. What about Shuckle? What could that make? 
use... Oh god, one of them's custom. I can't do it with unknown. <laughs> it's eating honey? What is it, just Winnie the Pooh there now? Look at it, it's a sure- it's a sure-sa. Um, I got the unknown from Wonder Trade, so I can't unattach it to what it's fused to. A little mole Pokemon. Alright, unfuse again, because the other one was auto. What about the gears? Yeah, nothing custom there. Alright, what about Natu? That one's custom. <laughs> His little hand don't look quite right. But now he's got like butterfly wings. Confirm. Do that. Unfuse it. Who else is here for this? Who else can be combined with a little teddy? Who have I not tried yet? You try Kadabra. Nope. Hang on, wait a second. Why is there a stray sprite in the bottom left there? It must be because it's cropped really weirdly. <laughs> Bellsprout? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no! I hate it. Little flower Pokemon. Reverse it. Ooh, a teddy sprout. It's a teddy sprout, all right. Okay, what else can I combine Teddy with now? I've already seen Jigglypuff, of course. No custom. Oh god, why the why are there ec custom Ekans ones? <laughs> it cursa. It's cursed all right. Now we reverse it for something else. It's a snake bear. Looks unhappy. Yes. Unfuse again. Sent PC. Okay. What else can Teddy combine with now that I haven't done? Voltorb? Alright then. No, I ate it. A Volturza. It's a bear ball. Reverse it. Yes. <laughs> That's a teddy orb, all right. What have you done to me? What have you done to me? All right, I think that's pretty much it for Teddy. What about combining like Kabuto and some and stuff? Hang on, what if I combine the, these with the Shuckle? Oh, that's custom. What am I looking at? It's a Shwink. Gear mold. Swarmy gears. Unfuse, please. Unfusing. Shuckle was sent to PC. Alright, what about Shuckle with something else? Hmm. I want to spend all day on this damn menu. What about Shuckle and Kleppa? Not custom. Bampy. Not custom. Jigglypuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've seen this one. Anorith? Nope. 
Not many Shuckle Fusions, apparently. There's this one. All right. It's a Kabuckle. And it's staying inside that little thing there, all right. All right, what about Anorith? Okay, no customs. No custom. Nothing there. Nothing with the gears. What about seal? Man, Anorith seems like a forgotten Pokemon for this, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. See this one. <laughs> yeah, that looks about that. Hey, the made by someone named Teddy2K. A Belrith. Old flower. Oops. All right. You know what I could try before I uh, stop this? What if I unfuse Clefable and Gyarados? Take out the Teddy Orb. I'm using up all the DNA splicers, but I'm going to reload after this. Don't worry. We've seen the Cleffa fusion. Try this. Let's see Clefable Teddy Ursa. Clef Ursa. It's corrupted beyond saving. No, the the swine up uh, fusion is uh, from Wonder Trade. I can't unfuse it. Okay, unfuse DNA splicers, and now let's just combine it with Gyarados for the hell of it. Use. I'm about to run out of splicers, so I'm gonna have to load in a second. Oh god, it's custom. Let's see it. <laughs> Ger Geror Ger Gera Ursa. There we go. And I can read it. Little atrocious Pokemon. It's a bear alright. That's level 21. I only have the one splicer left, so let me just Anything I could just invert right quick that I've seen. There's that bear. Let me just reverse this and then I'll reload. See what this ends up looking like with the auto generator. <laughs> Teddyos. I like how parts of Teddy Ursa's face are always cut off on the bottom because the sprite has his little paw on his on his mouth. Teddy will not learn to bite anything. All right, here we go. Now hang on a second while I just mute audio. Put up the BRB screen and go back to the title screen. Don't save game. Adios, Tenidos. Okay, now let me just hide the screen. Say goodbye to the noodle bear. There we go. Alright, we're back to actually playing the game now. That's enough fusion fun for now. That was fun. Let's just start catching up some things here. Okay, I was in pewter, that's right. Teleport. Uh, that's the wrong symbol, but okay. I'm pretty sure the egg is not teleporting me. Check out the Pokemon t t uh, tower. We can keep a, t keep a train of Teddy Ursa maybe next time. Rang the bell. Nothing happened. Came to see Grandma, and I found this weird rock next to her. I can hear it speak when I put it close to my ear, but my grandma says it's cursed. She won't let me keep it. Do you want it? Odd keystone. 
Grandma doesn't like the weird stone for some reason. You should come to pay respects, bless you. Which... Where is this remix for a Pokemon Tower from? Poor Growlithe, why'd you have to die? I came to pray for my Clefairy. We can all pray for Clefairies, but that won't save them. Hey, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. If I could get a Spirit Tomb, that'd be pretty sick to fuse. I like those gravestones in the back. Also, uh, yeah. Ice Shard. I think I'm over-leveled for stuff like this, and that's fine. Alright. Super Potion, huh? Maybe from Let's Go? I did- it didn't even occur to me that they could have taken music from Let's Go. Yeah, that would make perfect sense. Gyarados. Yeah, use up your super potions, boyo. Swivel. Warsaur. Let's go. I know that there's some fan remixes in this for sure, though. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Sweet scent. That won't help you. This is your starter? Wow. Pathetic. Star, bruh. Oh, right. This. Nice. What? You stinker. I took it easy on you. How's your Pokedex coming? I caught a Haunter. I'm gonna try to fuse it with another Pokemon, see if I can evolve it. Well, better get going. Tell us, old man! Or we're going to have to stop playing nice. What's that about? Come on, let's check it out. Come on, tell us how to make the Master Ball. You were working at Silphco when it was being developed. We know you have the plans. Let's go! We have ways to make you talk, old man. Whoa, this old man looks like he's in a lot of trouble. I'd follow them up there and give these rock grunts a lesson. If it weren't for all those ghosts, I think they're actually Pokemon, but I don't think I can get past them without a self scope. Anyway, I saw a lot of Team Rocket members loitering around Celadon City when I was getting my fourth gym badge. I think I'll go back there to investigate. You should come too, Asprey. Tell you later. I like how it's giving me, like, realistic gameplay tips. <laughs> Assuming, like, because I don't think most people playing this are gonna... Oops. Okay, that's weird. Probably played Gen 1 before. There we go. It's telling me things like I don't know, but that's... It'd be bad to leave it like that, wouldn't it? I'm probably making no sense because I'm, like, skipping half my damn words, but you know what I mean. They're giving me context about what to do. Like, their design in the game. There's still snubbles here. Hey, Vulpix! That'd be good to catch. Throw a great ball at it. One, two, three, four. There you go. Because in the vanilla Gen 1 and Fire and Leaf Green, you basically just have to wander until you find where the hell to go. We'll shock you with our twin power. You don't stand a chance. Psy Fairy and Slowpuff. They're about to die. I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to get to the Slacking Evolution today after all. I've already been going almost two and a half hours and I do wanna do some Purity Forest after this still. Still, I've seen way more fusions this episode than I have for other stuff. Alright, here we go. Oh god, is it barely changing? What's going on? Come on. Tell me it's another... Is that another custom? Or is it auto? The face looks just good enough to make me think it's probably... Could be custom, or no, the head kind of gives it away there. It's auto. It looks good enough, at least, for an auto one. Yeah. Pileable. 
Looks pretty good. From Molly. It's like level 36, I get ancient power. So maybe next time I can make sure I can get that then. Yeah, I think next time for sure I can get Slack King, Azumarill, and Charizard, and Mr. Mime, and those will be fun to mess around with for fusions, combining Slack King with a bunch of random stuff. Obviously, Azumarill, leaving it as is, is going to be the main play, but is this egg gonna hatch? Like, my god. My favorite Pokemon is Nidoran. What about you? You need to move Reminder Ancient Power. I was wrong. Oh, okay. Then I can go do that right now. Let me just head over to the Pokemon Center then. Slash? You don't need that. Charina. <laughs> Even with speed up, these eggs are taking a while, yeah. Let's just check, take a quick look at it. Move reminder. Money really isn't a problem anymore, is it? Pileable. Damn! These are some good moves I could give it. This thing could become a real beast once I start, like, properly investing to it, huh? There's ancient power. Do this first. Uh, just get rid of mud slap. Hang on, yeah, I should stretch. I haven't done that much today. Oof. Okay. So, let's evolve this thing first, then. Since it's gotten so... It's like my highest level mon now, ain't it? I hope that... I hope this sprite is custom. Because it seems like it'll be a very cool Pokemon. I mean, even if it isn't, like, maybe it'll be updated that way. Hang on. By next time. Is custom? Okay, good. Talking about possibilities when you decide on. Let's just rematch you. It is nice to be able to rematch stuff quickly. I just realized what type is pileable? Ice Fairy. Huh. Would you say that's a good type, chat? I'm not quite sure. Wiggly Fairy. Dragon Slayer type. Oh yeah, I guess so. Alright, here we go. Let me just turn the speed back to normal. Alright, here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay, show me. Okay, yeah, that looks kind of sick. Turning, like, the tusks, obviously, into Grand Bull's, like, uh, like, jaw fangs. And it's, like, looks like it's got, like, war paint on it. Looks like a bo- uh, bo- a koblin? Yeah, I guess it kind of does in a weird way. 95 attack. Damn. Is it my strong- one of my strongest mons here? Hang on. Damn, yeah, it actually is. It's a Mamble. Yeah, I- I could roll with this as a main party member. I've never used a Gramble or Mamoswine in much anyway. Yeah, I need to evolve this thing. It's a really bad auto-generated one, but it's gonna be great when it evolves. It's gonna be great. Um... Yeah, plus, as we saw from the move reminder, I could give this thing Outrage and the three elemental fangs. This one is actually, yeah, this is going to be a pretty sick team member. Like, it actually will be able to keep up with the Zoomeroth as well. It could be like the elemental coverage version of my physical attackers. Huh. All right, yeah, I'm down to keep using this thing. Uh, party sprite looks pretty awful, though. Oops. Take... Now, I think one of the last things I should do... I can keep going a little longer, actually. Maybe I could try and evolve the Slack King after all. 
I just go all in with it up front? Without an experience share on something else? Because I'm really curious. Azumaroth is really freaking ugly. <laughs> it's one of the ugliest looking auto-generated ones ever. It's one of those ones where it's so bad it's almost good. Infinite fusions? I'll have you know that the possible number of fusions is, on the contrary, quite finite. Just a blue monkey... <laughs> snorfing. <laughs> that sounds funky. Okay. Try this. Really can take a hit, can it? Let me just heal up a bit. We must look silly standing here like this. Yeah, you do. Why are you? A Volgy. All right, then. Kill it. Magnetata. <laughs> okay. It's got sturdy. Hot oh, damn. Kadachu. <laughs> okay. Sheldon. Shell ran. <laughs> no, I read it wrong. Uh, don't really have a super effective attack. It's gonna have good defense. Oh, crit. Never mind. Who cares? All right. There goes that. Get some lovely Pokemon. My dad gave me some rare Pokemon, and I fused them with my favorites. Meowth. Uh oh. Snorlax Gengar would be normal ghost. Yeah, that would be kind of a sick idea, wouldn't it? Here we are. I've only been going the two and a half hours. Yeah, that's funky looking. So I will just get Azumaroth to level 36 as quickly as I can. There's a lot of trainers to beat up at this point in the game. Aqua Ring, nah. I'm having a good time today. This has been nice, chat. Oh, man. I did not need to see that today. Here we are. This past week has mostly been fun for streaming, but I did start off like, uh, I did start off the previous week feeling pretty awful. I kind of was like sick again, and I wasn't as fully recovered from uh, the head stuff as I thought. So I kind of just had a couple sleepless nights where I just felt like crap. I think this week though, I really want to get some stuff done. Like I've kind of had like uh, video scripts kind of like on hold for almost more than a full month at this point. Which really sucks. Because I've had, like, two scripts, like, close to fi being finished. So it feels like I'm just missing an opportunity to get something done, but... There's no point sitting there editing while I feel like garbage. Warmer? <laughs> that thing is creepy, but I like its name. Imagine, like... Imagine, like, just... Putting your hand on it, and it's just like... I'm warmer. I'm warmer than most sludge, aren't I? <laughs> I hate it. All right, not bad. Let's rematch him right away. Excellent. Hopefully I can get back to starting streams at a more, like, regular time as well. I've really been <laughs> all over the place with that, haven't I? Mostly only able to start when I, when I can. Sorry, mods. There we go. Oh, another warmer. Oh, it's the same guy. What the hell am I surprised about? Okay, we're almost to 36 anyway. I guess I can do this. Maybe I can get Charizard, too. That'd be cool. Bikes acting up, man. I wanted to start streaming at 12. This reminds me of that Pokemon from, um... Yeah, Q9 from Pokemon Dusk. I need to replay that on sometime. I've been wanting to do that for a while now. Suffering the same issue, yeah. I felt like crap, couldn't get up early, and then daylight savings time happened right before I had my injury as well, so that also threw things off. Let's rematch them. I wonder, is the Q9 evolution just straight up the one from Pokemon Dusk? Like a very intentional re reference? Because that Pokemon right there looks like it might be a Cubone Arcanine monster. All right, let's roll the dice. 
gambler stand. Got a polywag. Polywag again. Kill. Chop, chop, boyo. Poly free. Look at it. Hey, you want to play a game? No. It sound like a good idea. You look good at Pokemon, but has your chem. Terrible, actually. I failed chem. It was not my favorite subject in high school. Luckily, I didn't care about that because I went into college for art. <laughs> and that did not work out, though. Now I stream! And that's my- and that's the, my life from high school to now. Parafing. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of PP. I better just switch, actually. Mr. Meleon. Let me see. Oh, you don't need to prepare a list of short Pokemon games for me right now, yo-yo. We got plenty of things to do this week. And I can look into that stuff when I have the time. Let me just... I don't know if they're going to put trainers down there or outside of it, so let me just run back and heal right quick. Get in there. Azumaroth is right around the corner. I can definitely get Charizard, too. Level up fast with speed. There we go. Okay, having a schedule also has kind of helped a little bit. It's been easy to kind of just delegate Tuesday to as a Skyward Sword day now, isn't it? Though it's going to feel weird switching the Skyward Sword over and over between Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna, I keep instinctively using the right stick to try and do the motion control sword. And I use your Pokemon as a model for my painting. And this route is different like I thought, so let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, I do want some. Don't, wor don't worry. Just don't need them right this second. You don't get a rush on that. That's what I meant. Slash that. It's got a little cactus poking out of its back. That's cool. Here we are. My Pokemon has been feeling a bit ill, but I think it can handle a fight. I'm probably just gonna keep playing Tears of the Kingdom on my own. Glurion! Ugh, I don't like it. Ouch. I'm just not very good for streaming open-world games, as I've been learning. My poor Pokemon is still feeling sick. Maybe another battle. Sure, let's do it. Which Eevee evolution is it, is it combined with? I actually can't tell. Is it supposed to be Flareon? Because it just has Eon at the end of its name. Rain Dance. No, you don't need that. Open world games, I feel like I just need to turn my brain off and enjoy them and run around collecting stuff. D Dota. <laughs> Look at that. Excellent. Not to mention, a lot of people are playing Tears of the Kingdom themselves. She's playing Dota. That's a Pikachu. One more level and we get the slacking. Still Growlithe here, apparently. Oh, hey, Growlithe. Who thinks we should catch a puppy? I think we should catch a puppy. Odor Sleuth. It should survive a Thunder Wave at that level. Or, sorry, a Thunder Shock. Okay, Reverse Old. There we go. Growlithe has been acquired. Puppy. Hello there, trainer. Do you want me to teach the move Zen Headbutt to one of your Pokemon? Zen Headbutt. Uh, I already have special psychic attacks. I don't need that. We're having a field trip. Nice that they expanded this very tiny route. Oh, not nice that you have a Clefairy, though. Let's end that. Oh, right. Your, your fairy type. How do I forget that, for God's sakes? Meow Mime. <laughs> Alright. Not very effective. Oh, it's fairy normal. Not psychic normal. You're an amazing trainer. Please go have a battle with my students so that they can learn what a real Pokemon trainer looks like. 
Alright, you probably want me to punish them then. This is just the, the dumbest playground ever. It's just a slide onto, like, stone, not even sand. Eevee! It's about to die. Almost. Pato? Oh, is it Paris and Ditto? Alright, here we go. Let me just lower the speed. It's finally time. Get ready for it. The huge power slacking. Oh my god, it's a bunny. What is it gonna be? Oh god, I hate it so much, but it's gonna be so powerful. It, this is, without a doubt, one of the most cursed things I've ever had to use. Nah, we don't need that. Azuma King. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that 107 with huge power. <laughs> Looks like it has an Oni mask. My goodness. It has 107 and an ability that doubles its attack power. Oh my god. This thing is going to be like the, one of the strongest gotta be one of the strongest possible combinations you can even make it's kind of hideous but it's so hideous that like you can't help but love it like look at that face with those ears call me ugly i dare you this is one of I'm, i've been training for i just had to crack my hands there okay it also applies evs and ivs too before doubling nice it's disgusting in every possible way. Yes, it is. Grabbing a quick drink here. Excellent. I've been hyping this thing up all uh, for episodes. I can't really put it in the thumbnail. I'll probably put the Teddy Ursa with the sword in the thumbnail. Let me turn up the speed. Okay, now let's see if I can get Mr. Meleon to Charizard before we end today. We're coming here to play the whole day, it's great. I've done so many fusions today. Hit Psybeam. Jigglypuff. Kill. Who do you think you are? You can't disable me. I'm Mr. Meleon. Pikagon. Oh, it's supposed to be Pika gone, all right. Slack King has, like... It does have, like, better than pseudo uh, legendary stats, doesn't it? Like, Slack King has, like, legendary attacks level st attack stats simply because its ability is supposed to balance that, right? Okay. This is the way into Saffron, right? Hey, 100,000 you want to get in. Once I get in once, I can do that. Hmm, I wonder, can you technically pay the toll to get into Saffron early on and then teleport in and out later? As a way to get in there faster, so to speak, I assume? It's here again. Oh, Drifloon. Oh, Drifloon. Oh, nice. Okay, let's catch this. If you're willing to grind for it, yeah. Dylan fought a rocket to enter. You can do that. No, it doesn't matter. Just throw a great ball at it. Slack King has 670 base power total. A pseudo legendary has 600. Damn. That's pretty sick. Balloon Mon. I think a Teddy Fusion would just be perfect for the thumbnail. That's the underground path I came out of, right? And that's all that stuff there. Yeah, I like when they expand routes that are normally really tiny. 
That's what I kind of love about fan games. Let's take a look up here. Okay, Celadon City. I wonder if I should just take Mr. Meleon to the grass gym and sweep that. You buy evolution stones there. Man, I wish I had a bike. Use cycling road. I kind of forgot to get the bike, didn't I? Each moves to your Pokemon. Elemental punches. Huh. I can put them on... I could put Thunder Punch. Put elemental coverage on you, too. Damn. Thunder Punch over Thunder Shock. That would be better for you. Okay. Let's remember him for next time. Who needs a bike when you got the zoom button? Celadon is looking... At like an actual city with these buildings. This is nice. Prize exchange. What are you looking at? Wait for some people. Stop bothering me. Oh, the egg's hatching. Nice. Madu. Madu. I love that. Would you like to nickname the newly hatched Madude? No. Exciting. Uh, is it time for me to fuse a couple things? I could do that. Save to file A. Save to file B. There we go. Boot it up to PC. Organize and fuse. Okay. Let me combine Teddy Ursa with Drifloon. Uh-oh. This Teddy's about to steal children. What's up, my dude? Oh no! It's Refersa. Little balloon mon. Alright, now let's unfuse it. Unfusing. Bear has been removed from the ghostly form. Okay, fuse. What about Growlithe? Ooh, customs. But hang on, what about Vulpix too? One custom. Do this. I bet I can guess Mr. Mime with a balloon. Oh, that is adorable. I like that. Look at that. Growlersa. It looks like a fluffy little friend. <laughs> I should totally see Drifloom with Mr. Mime, though. It's a good idea. First, let's also reverse this. Yeah, it's a, it's a Teddy Ursa with Growlithe, all right. The other one looks kind of like more standout-ish, though. Okay, unfuse. Oops. Do that. I want to see what the Vulpix com combination looks like. Teddy gets cuter when combined with Puppers. Exactly. The hair looks like a little string on his head there. Let's see what they're going for. Maybe a different pose for that would show it off better. Little Foxmon. Kind of looks like a raccoon as well, doesn't it? Okay. Now, I want to see that. So let me take this. Unfuse. DNA splicers. Moon-shaped hair. Oh, yeah. I guess it is kind of going for that. I did, that didn't immediately occur to me, but I guess I see it now. All right. This is the easiest joke in the world to make. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's... Somebody had to have made it. <laughs> Look at that. The Drifloon's just Drifloon. It's just Mr. Mime holding a Drifloon, but it has a different face now. That face. Do not like. Slip that somewhere in the thumbnail. <laughs> why is it... Chat, why is it stepping out of the boundaries of where it's supposed to be?
It's trying to get out of the game. He's approaching. Let's reverse it. Is that... <laughs> that looks like a Cuphead, per Cuphead character. Almost. It's certainly different than uh, the freaky one. Stockpile. Yes, Mr. Loon. Okay, let's unfuse it now. DNA splicers. Come on. What if I put Teddy Ursa with Mr. Mime? That sounds like something cursed. Your Pokemon were successfully unfused. There's a Vulpix. Don't want to sit here and fuse every possible thing I got right now, but let's just have a little fun. Ah, oh, they're not they're not custom. Hang on. Is there anything else with Mr. Mime I could make? Because that may, seems like it'd have the most fun. Shuckle. Do I want to do this? I don't think I do, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> okay. I don't like where some of those uh some of those shuckle parts are they are are where they are. Mr. Oh, uh did they edit the edit part of the name? I know that some fusion names were intentionally edited because they uh can spell out certain things. I feel like they really didn't want this one to, uh, say something else. <laughs> that would have been real funny, though, if, if I got to it before they did. That would have been so funny. There we go. It almost looks like it says that, yeah. All right, use that. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mime with Hone Edge. Have I tried that? Oh, God. No, wait, I did see this one. That's right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mime. Ralph. Nope. Cleffa. Nope. Uh, what about... Why Why are there two customs for Mr. Mime and Anorith? That is such a random combo. Let's, let's check him. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, those are eyes at the end of his, uh... Do you call those horns? Antennae? I don't even know. I'm not sure I want to know. Oops. I'm gonna hit those both now. Okay, now let's reverse it. Wow. Imagine you're, like, using the bathroom or something, and you look down, you hear a noise, and there's something skittering, and it's coming, like, from beneath the door. And you look down, you see this. What do you do, Mr. Rith? Burn the whole house down. <laughs> yeah. Give up on Mimic. Psy wave. No, 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 no. Let's unfuse. Just combining things with Mr. Mime is an experience. That's with the egg on its back. We don't... I, I don't know. Is that an egg? Something. Mr. Mime. What else do I have to fuse with it? What about the gears? Oh, oh. Oh, these actually make something. We gotta see that now. Clink mime. It is a creature. Oops. Damn it. I keep hitting combine and I make this take longer than I really need to. All right. Now let's reverse it. Oh. 
Mr. Ink. Is this another edited name? Because I'm worried if there was a, a, a K in front of that I before they got to it. Because <laughs> that would have been really funny. Probably. <laughs> or it would have been Mr. Link, maybe. But okay. Psybeam. Certainly an interesting design there. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. No. <sighs> Damn it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to reload the data anyway. Unfuse it again. Oops. I'm having too much fun just seeing what nonsense is here. It might just be Ink, yeah. But it'd be pretty funny if his name was Mr. Kink. Okay. Use with you. Bell sprout. There's one. Doesn't really look that much like Mr. Mime's been a part of that, to be honest. It still mo looks like more Bell sprout. I guess like Mr. Mime's torso is in there, in a way. Do that one. Unfuse it. What about Voltorb? I haven't seen Mr. Mime and Voltorb. I feel like that would make something a little crusty. Alright, let's fuse ya. Oh, oh, it turns into a juggler? Interesting. That's a cool idea. <laughs> it's just juggling them. Okay. A Volt Mime. That actually would be kind of a cool idea for, like, an, a real regional variant where it's just juggling volt orbs and it becomes, like, electric fairy or something. Kind of cute. Let's try and do escape the Pokemon game, though. And now let's reverse it and watch it get more cursed. <laughs> Mr. Orb. It looks more like a, a rogue execute. Than anything. Unfuse. Okay. Maybe I should do more combinations with just the Drifloon now before I get back to game. Just a few more. What about Charmeleon? Okay, those aren't natural. Uh, Cleffa? <laughs> okay, I want to see this. It's just a, it's a Driffa. Grabs the hands of children. Alright, unfuse. Unfusing. I should be high enough level to just, like, let Mr. Meleon just, like, sweep the Erica's gym and then get Charizard. Okay. Did I check... Cone Edge? No, I didn't check these. Okay. Try this. It's a Han Loon. It's a balloon, but it's got a spear poking out. Balloon sword. Keep that. Reverse it. I haven't really fused Charmeleon with much else. I feel like Charizard will have more. It's a drift edge. It's just a cross. A balloon cross, maybe? I don't know. Unfuse. No splicers. Who have I not combined you with? How about Bampy? Nope, nothing. Cleffa? This is just gonna make the fool's gold Cleffa, isn't it? It is. Well, it's a more, more lizard. It's a Charfa. Starflame. It's evil. A little Hellspawn. Unfuse. Pretty cool. No, it's on fire. How can it be cool if it's on fire, silly? Alright. Go back to Charmeleon. Uh, can it combine with Teddy? Oh my god, it can! Alright, last one, and then I'll reverse it, and then we'll get back to game.
This is too much fun just now that I have access to more Pokemon. <laughs> it's a Teddy Meleon. That face don't quite fit it. Lame bear. No. 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 All right, reverse it. Here we go. Knuckles face. Oh, gosh. Now that's a gremlin face right there. His little, little, little tiny tail's on fire. Okay, you know what? One more with, like, Vulpix. How about that? Vulpix and Shuckle. Okay, nothing there. Ears. Nothing there. Drifloon. Nothing there. Uh, Growlithe too easy. Oh. Oh, damn. These actually look kind of sick. Uh, let's start with this one and then reverse it, and that'll be the last ones. Looks like it's gonna have the sword in its mouth. It's a Volage. Keeps making all these different, like, weapons and swords. Sword Fox. Okay. Keep. Reverse. It's a Hone Picks. Can't quite see its, like, mouth holding the sword, though. I kind of would want to see it with the, something else without the big eye, though. Anyways, that's fine. Okay, box operations. Nope. Okay, now let me just uh, put up the BRB screen again. Mute the audio, because we don't want to get claimed going back to the title screen. Don't save. Okay. Okay, skipping the thing. All right, hang on. Show you again. Boop. Now then, let's actually use the real team. Let's get rid of my dude. Uh, who would I deposit? Clef a friend. Should experience share more stuff next time, but this is like my main go-to guys. They look pretty sick. This will be in a thumbnail at some point, maybe. All right, but let's go to the gym. And we will go ahead and just uh, see if we can get the next Evo. Hang on. Fusion incense. Oh, it's one of those. What's this? New item? Whoa, this kid's not messing around. Better make a run for it. Drat, they ran away. Asprey, these Team Rocket grunts knew about that old man we saw in the Pokemon Tower. Looks like it's some bloke called Mr. Fuji who runs a Pokemon Orphanarium. I was just pressing them for information. But you distracted me and they got away. Well, they were just grunts anyway, the lowest of the low. I doubt they knew anything worthwhile. What we need to do is find whoever's in charge of this Team Rocket and take the whole thing down from the top. I guess I'll have to look around for their headquarters. With so many of these grunts in the city, it just has to be nearby. I'll let you know if I find anything. That is, if I haven't already taken down their whole organization by the next time I see ya. Smell you later. New area down here. What can all this noise possibly be about? Is this where the commotion was coming from? There I was, grooming Tangula's vines when the poor thing got startled by a loud noise and tore one of its vines. Oh, it will grow back, don't worry. Did I hear that Team Rocket was causing trouble again? Oh, they've been all over the city lately. Rumor has it they made their base somewhere in the sewers. By the way, my name is Erica. I run the gym next door when I'm not tending to my flowers. What? Team Rocket have kidnapped Mr. Fuji? This is worse than I thought. We have to do something about it. Follow me. We have to go after them. We'll get to the bottom of this. All right, then. I guess I'm not just going to the gym. Let's team up. We'll be stronger. What? What is this music? This is like from Pokemon Puzzle League. It's like an instrumental of like something from the To Be A Master album. Ah, uh, that might cl get claimed. Weepin', weepin' Jilla. All right, so I didn't expect this to be a thing down here. This should be something I leave for later. 
Because this is a whole dungeon. I'm about to wrap up. Oh, you're leaving? I'll wait for you over here. All right, don't worry. Door is locked. Okay, so no gym for me. Get that next time, then. There's the hotel. I'll check that out next time as well. I just want to see if I can get Mr. Meleon. Is there anything I can check out to the side here? Here's the big gym. Sorry. Oh. The big uh, department store, I should say. Murkrow can be found here. It's a rat. Maybe I don't have time to get uh, Slack King. Or sorry, Mr. Meleon, after all. Super Appel. What trainers over here? Seems like there's a lot to do, at the very least. Oh, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. You got fly. It will allow any of your Pokemon who can learn the move to fly into any city. It is useful indeed. I hope it will aid you in your journey. I also have teleport for that. A missed opportunity that I wish Let's Go did. Oh, jeez. It's a, it's a mirth. <laughs> Catch that. Let me do that. Here he swipes. You know how Let's Go added a couple of uh, trainers from Alola? Um, one of the things I thought that they should have done, like the Fly Trainer, who normally is a girl in uh, the other gens, she says something. She always says something like, "Oh, you found my secret place. Please don't tell anyone I'm here," implying that she's like a celebrity. I feel they should have made it like the golfer girl from Gen Seven, uh, the flying type trainer who becomes like an Elite Four member. I feel like that would have fit her perfectly to become the trainer that gives you fly in that house. So, ROM hackers or whatever, if you want to do something like that, throw that in, because I feel like it would fit. Out of mirth. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Let's see. Could go back to the previous route and beat some stuff up. Instead, it just they just kind of had the fairy trainer just kind of show up sometimes. Excellent. It would have been more, more appearances for Kahili's her name, right? Am I saying that right? Don't have a grass fairy mon. Okay. Feeling sick. All right, let's do it. I saw a lot of people speculating about that back in the day when Gen 7 came out. Okay, yeah, I see. Let's go would have been the perfect opportunity to do that. Oh, flash fire. It is part Flareon. Okay. Damn, this isn't the best Pokemon to fight here, huh? Send out Klefdos. Apparently I need to catch some level ups on some other things, don't I? Fiery Vortex. Go. We got time for a rematch? Yeah, let's see about you. Oh yeah, the Dota girl. Going agility. Hmm. Probably have better better luck beating things up on the previous route. What could be found here again? Oh, there's Houndour here at night. What's that middle one? There's Murkrow. It's just floating. Don't look right. Check here at night another time. Houndour fusions might be cool. Again, I've, I'm past three hours, so I want to wrap this up and change games. But I do... I am curious about the Charizard. Let me just head back here. Rematch? Yeah. Side beam. I wonder if it'd be cool to, for the long run, run Charizard with Aegislash. <laughs> Let's see what Charizard and Honedge looks like together, though, at least. Now, I don't need to do another session of Infinite Fusion right now. That would be... I'd be too burnt out of it. Excellent. Although, we'll probably try and do these a little more frequently than once a week now. 
trying to mix in more Pokemans this week. I've kind of fallen into a little habit here with, uh, for some of the other variety. I just kind of record them in short bursts and edit them together into, like, a long session for YouTube. There we go. So as much as I love the funny little obscure games, they don't do very well when I split them up, but they do much better when I just kind of upload them as one massive chunk. Like with Castlevania mods or, like, horror games. Okay, just kill that right quick. If I beat this guy up quickly, I should easily be able to get to 36. Yeah, I've had the, the Link to the Past Teddy Ursa run complete for a while. I'm just trying to get that, find time to render that. Alright, Flame Burst is much better here. I can get rid of Flash, but... No, no recycle. It's almost like, it's like four and a half hours. It's gonna take a little bit to render. When something's that long, I just have to let my PC sit there for a while and not do anything else with it. Excellent. It would be easy to just beat this guy up for it, so let's do it. Warmer. I wonder if any of his Pokemon would evolve. Warmer is kind of creepy. I like it. Okay. Use up the super potions. I don't really need to rare candy this. I'll make the thumbnail later. Oh, it should be easy. Fried car fetched. Almost there. Okay, he's got wheezing now, and I accidentally just used flash. It'd be funny if he went for explosion after that and missed. Blastmer. Aw, oh, man, what a downgrade. You can tell that one is auto-generated. Warmer actually looks, like, pretty good. I'm sure whoever made the Warmer sprite was probably interested in making, uh, other related ones like that. It is nice that the, they level up and their Pokémon get stronger, too, so you can see the other fusions while doing this. No PP left? Oh, I gotta go heal. Okay. This is the last thing I'm gonna do. Blastmer. Don't have enough PP, so I guess I'll just switch to Azuma King. Why not? This thing is so such a nightmare. It can use Stab Slash, and nothing will be able to stop it. Okay. Let me just go back here. We saw a lot of fusions today. I actually really like a lot of them. Excellent. Oh, no, it doesn't have Truant. It has huge power. That's why it's... I, that thing is never going off the team. It is busted. I did use the Pokemon Center when I warped there, right? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Two levels. That's all I need. And I can pick something to experience share next time. I should, like, pick, um, something that low-leveled or unevolved to fuse with Hone Edge and just kind of train that up for a bit. Uh, quick question, actually. Can I... Can I get, uh, Dusk Stones from the Celadon Department Store? Or is it just the Fire, Water, Thunder, and that's it? Because that'd be good for Aegis Slash when we can get it. I'm about to hit 35. Just bear with me for a second. No, sadly, not from Celadon. Okay. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We can get them in Lavender. I mean, like, buy them. Or, or I find one in the Pokemon Tower Climb. Because that would make sense. Almost there. Alright, one more battle and we got it. The second Mark guy? Oh, he just sells them. Alright, well, that's easy enough, then. I was kind of there earlier. I don't think I saw that, though. Did I miss it? Probably just mistake, mistake it for a ghost gem or something. I don't know. Alright. 36, here we come. Trick? You don't need tricks. Okay, 
Nice Psybeam. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. You've all been waiting to see. Might be wrong. Well, I don't recall seeing it. It doesn't really matter. We'll get it eventually. Here we go. What did I invest in? I hate it so much. It just keeps getting worse and worse as it evolves. Mr. Izzard. <laughs> Mr. Izzard. Okay. You'll love to see it. Wing attack. I already know his four moves. Nah, you don't. You don't need wing attack. Later. Okay, so I finally saw it. I think maybe next time I'll pick something more permanent for Charizard to, uh, be combined with. Dragon Rage. It's a little late for Dragon Rage, I would say. No, you don't... Why are you learning so much at 36? Okay. Let me just uh, fly on over to Celadon right quick. Speed it up, Tad. Heal. Alright, time to make a save. Let's wrap this up now. Save to file B. Oops. Right, switch there. Okay, save to another slot. File A. And just for good measure, do it again. Alright, how long was this? About three hours, 15 minutes-ish. That was pretty fun. It was a nice, good, long session. We've seen more fusions today than probably any stream of this so far. I enjoy seeing the Teddy Ursus. I'm sure there will be plenty of more Teddy Ursus to see next time. Once it's reversed, well, you'll have to watch next episode to see that. Don't get greedy. We can, we can reverse it next time. That's right. I'll tease you with it. Anyways, I hope you all had a good time. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops, but we're going to switch over to Purity Forest here on Switch. So uh, have a good night and bye-bye.